I wasn't late. I wasn't late. I started at two o'clock. Sure, it was two, two p.m. and forty-two seconds or something. You said on the dot. Right at two two zero zero, it was going to start. I didn't count any seconds after that. So somebody wrote losing interest. Yeah, I already lost interest in this shit. I don't care anymore. No more quizzes, dude. I've I've seen enough. <laughs> Where's Chubby Bunny? For Chubby Bunny. Hmm. Interesting concept for a uh, an activity. I will do Chubby Bunny today. Yes, it's gonna happen today. That's right. But when is it going to happen? We're gonna pull some uh, American reality TV on you guys. I'm gonna talk about the thing that you care about 25 times over the next few hours. And coming up soon, Chubby Bunny with Germa. And it shows me in like this weird cube there's a glass around it for some reason. And there's cameras all over. this one, like, bird's eye camera. And I'm sitting there like, oh, ho, 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 shit. After the break. And then the break comes back and they don't go to me doing Chubby Bunny. They do something else entirely for, like, two more hours. They do three or four more commercial breaks in that time where they show me with goggles on inside the cage, inside of the glass box. Here he comes. And don't forget, Chubby Bunny coming up with Germa. And I look into the camera, I'm like, yo, hey, you. <laughs> and then it happens right before the credits roll, and it sucks. Prepare yourself. It's a way to keep you here. Until I'm done. That's G4? I don't, I don't remember. But stalling. This this whole stream is a stall. Don't you understand? I have 30 plus personality quizzes. And tests. And then we're going to play a Family Feud online video game. That we have, by the way, you get to participate in. What's that? Oh, can you believe that? Phylactery Lich, $50 from Phylactery. Thanks for the 5,000 bits, Phylactery. It's a huge amount of money. Put the marshmallows in your mouth before we fucking lose it. You'll see it. Hey, it's going to happen before the stream turns off. I guarantee it. And everybody thinks I'm gonna, like, die or something. I'm not gonna... Uh, look, I'm, let me just be very, very clear. I am not going to do Chubby Bunny until I die. I know a lot of people are saying, dude, don't fu be careful. I don't care about getting the world record at Chubby Bunny. I don't care. It's a stupid activity. No one should ever fucking do it under any circumstance. Ever. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it for the photo. You know, I'll get some in there and be like, oh, look at me. And then it all comes out. No one has done this in five years. Yeah, and no one should ever do it. Full disclaimer, don't do Chubby Bunny. It's fucking stupid. It's it's not even fun. It sucks. It's not even funny. I just said it, and I, I said it out loud. I said I was going to do it because it was just a thing that I thought I was never going to have to do. But here we are. Why are you doing it then? Because I, ha I, I have to. I, I made a promise on the Mafia remake stream that if I took damage on that one mission, that I was going to have to do it. So, I'm just taking it for the fucking photo, okay? What chug stream? <laughs> I'm so glad that person got instantly timed out. Hey, Adventure MF Dan, thanks for the five subs and Borderlines five subs. Thanks, both of you guys. The stream is not in 144p. It almost was. I almost didn't change it. Alright, without further ado, let's go. It's not 144p. It better not be. Did the settings not save? I hope they did. No, they did. At 720p, 60 Okay, good. I was about to say that's not good. 
All right, hold on. I'm going. <laughs> Let me just apply some lip balm. <laughs> uh, just go, just go, just go. It's been five minutes, man. Stalling, stalling. I'm not. E I'm just hanging out for a sec on my intro screen. We've gone over this before. We've talked about this a thousand times. How many streamers do you know that their starting soon screen is like 40 minutes? When I turn that on, I'm I'm here in the seat and I'm ready to stall, actively stall, not passively stall. You see, I'm an active staller, not a passive staller with you know a screen that just is like that for 20 minutes. When I get you here, I, I, I actively do this. You're doing that right now. No, I'm actively here. I'm not, I'm not passively stalling you. Idiot streamer laughing my ass off. Uh, that's a joke from, oh, we got a, uh, OSTs, right. I got a cool OST for us to listen to. This is called Legendary Video Game Music. That's the playlist. And I have 30 plus quizzes we're gonna start right now. How do we uh, transition over there? Can you see it? Me, uh, wait, I have to hide this. I don't want anyone to know what I'm doing. Gotta hide the tabs first. Yo. Shall we, shall we start the music? Oh no, he showed his stream key. Oh no, it was right on the Twitch dashboard. He's handsome today. Thanks. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna get this out of the way because I know I'm gonna I'm gonna drink out of this can, and, and it's gonna piss off a ton of people. I gotta get this out of the way. I, I have no affiliation with whatever this is. I have no feel. It, I just know that I'm gonna take a sip out of it, and somebody's gonna say, "Yo, fuck you." Okay. I know. Look, I get it. It was on sale. Okay. It was on sale. This is why I don't put face cam on. I don't, video's delayed, what? <laughs> it was on sale, so I got a couple. I've, I've never, I've, this is like the first time I've ever had this. This is not sponsored, this is for, I just bought it. I knew people were gonna be pissed about this. Look, you some of your favorite streamers drink Fireball for money. I drink White Claw for free. You get it? <laughs> it's disgusting. I didn't say that. You did. I'll tell. All right, let's do. We're, we're gonna do a review right now. This is the mango one. It's probably because of why it was on sale. Probably not a, a high top seller. It kind of tastes like the air inside of an airplane. I think. It's like airplane air. I like texture. It tastes like a... Uh okay, you know when you, when you when you have a Jolly Rancher? And you get to the very end of the Jolly Rancher and it's finally gone. Okay, an hour later, like the, the, the spit and taste inside of your mouth, if you have not had any more food after that, that like you, you're like own flavoring inside your mouth. You're, you're like, you're like coating. It's like that. It's not bad. Remember, it's only two. I can't, I, what, I, what, I'm not gonna have 10 of these. This is the first time I've drank alcohol in like seven months. No, this is the third time I've drank alcohol in, since February. Where the fuck am I going? I ain't going anywhere. Where do I have to go right? I'm not going anywhere. I can't have a, I can't have a fucking 
uh, airplane, air, qual, uh, 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 drink? I can't have one in seven months? You know, all right, like I kind of feel like, all right, so th this feels like I, sh I should have like, should I contact somebody? Hey, <laughs> there it is. Gerba 985's drink of choice. It's not this. It's not this, but he'll drink it if he has, if he wants to, if he thinks it's pretty, it's okay. It's pretty good. I don't, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Don't drink it. All right, we're gonna start with my mental age. This is the, uh, these are all, there's like fucking four, we gotta go. There's like 40 of these. Uh, thank you, Nidhog, for the five community subs. I had to get that out of the way. I know people are gonna freak the fuck out. Like, if I didn't say anything about this and, and you saw that lettering, you'd be like, fuck this guy. Now I give you like a 15 minute excuse as to why I'm drinking it in the first place. You can have one. Okay, let's start. My, this, is, this determines how old I am mentally. I guess. Okay, my question one of 20. The whole, the whole page is an ad? Okay, Twitter is confusing. Get that fucking, I don't get that out of here. Oh, the music. Ah, that's better. That's better. Okay, Twitter is confusing, essential, pointless, uh, annoying. It wakes me up in the morning. Uh, morning. It's fucking pointless. You find an old shirt in the wardrobe. You uh, can't believe you ever wore that and throw it out. You keep it for decorating. You consider giving it to charity. You put it on. You wonder how you ever managed to fit in it. Well, what's a wardrobe? I'll give it to charity. I would have given it to charity well before this. Anytime I get new clothes, I usually do it like a charity thing. Where it's like, okay, what do I wear? Do I wear that? I don't. Charity. The, the, the don't wear pile, go, pile goes to charity. Give to charity. You're planning a house party. You bring the white claw. Uh, think about telling your neighbors. Make sure you got enough chairs. Find out where the cheapest vodka is. Plan which games to play. I would, I would not invite my neighbors to a party. That's, that's mental age of like 80. Nobody talks to their neighbors anymore. Back in like the day, it was always like, oh, you need some sugar? Hey, it's me, Dave, from right next door. I'm knocking on your fucking door. Hey, can I have stuff? That doesn't happen anymore. I would not invite a neighbor to a party. In fact, if my neighbor knocked on my door, I'd be like, get get away from me. I don't know who you are, but leave me alone. And then I would just, I'd slam the big slider shut. You're not getting into Oz. What is the question? I, I would make sure I had a, a, no, that's gross. You're gonna serve the gross shit to your friends? The cheap shit to your friends? I've got a better idea. You should serve them high quality red wine. Like a Mal, uh, like a Malbec. Up this. Up this, you drink this in, in your house. And nobody knows you're there. I always make sure I had enough chairs for people to sit down. Baseball caps look better forwards. I like wearing my, I don't like wearing the cap backwards. Kind of hurts my head. Uh, it's hot, you want an ice cream. You buy. It's hot. You want an ice cream. You buy a Magnum. Why would you buy a Magnum if you wanted to have an ice cream? What? what I, I don't, how does this game work? I would buy a cone with a chocolate flake. These feel like AI. Is this AI generated? 
I buy a chocolate ice cream. I don't know, whatever the fuck that is. McDonald's is a, a good place to meet. Oh, I fucking am mad about this. Alrighty then. That's the only thing I can think of when I hear this song. Ace Ventura 2. I can never enjoy this Halo theme song. Okay, a good place to be. McDonald's is okay for a quick snack. Yeah. It's not disgusting, please. Uh, the current Prime Minister President looks... too young. No. Okay. They're all old. They're all- he's, he's like 75. He's old. He's not even a Prime Minister. This is a UK question. You think a you think a pension plan is not what you thought it would be important or something worth considering something for later. I feel like these are all the same answer. Uh, I feel like that's like that's something to consider. Life is fun. Sure, it sure is. You get passed on the motorway by a Ferrari. Like mm -hmm. how fast? You think sweet. I bet that driver is a wanker. They'll not get there any quicker. Fuck. Ooh! <laughs> Here. Where's Avenger? How come Avenger's not on here? Mr. Green. Oh, you revealed it! Okay, you have forgotten where you put your keys. This happens all the time. Hey, let me distract you with a fucking way to bring you all together. Hey, let me let me bring you all together, right? Oh, it just said like conservative. It said liberal, fucking Republican, Democrat. Let me bring you all together. God, I love this shit so much. I love it. Oh, what do you think about that, guys, collectively? Life-changing sleep is about what's underneath. What? Only a Casper mattress provides the cooling support. Okay, out of here. This is my favorite drink. Ah, that's not gonna unite all the people against me. This is pretty, this is, this is banging. All right, uh, you forgot where you put your keys. Maybe once in the last year. I lose them all the twice already today. I lose my shit all the time. It's just a free ad stream. <laughs> all right, right now, you, if you if you're on the stream right now and you're uh, like the guy that's responsible for this ad, you're going like, yes, I didn't have to do fucking shit for this. Uh, you finish your meal in a restaurant. You make sure you go to the toilet before you leave. That's weird. Or to coffee sometimes. Empty the tray into the bin. <laughs> I'm just like, what do you mean? What rest? Where are we? You finish your meal in a restaurant. <laughs> are we at? Are we? Are we at like a fucking In and Out, or are we at a fine dining restaurant? Imagine like dumping your tray at like a fine dining establishment. Ask whether the tip is included. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh. If you guys do gratuity included, I don't feel like adding any more. So actually, you know what? Sometimes I wish they would they would just do that. Like can I, I wish like the, the waiter or rate waitress, when you were done at your meal, they would walk up and say, Hey, uh, thank you for, for eating here. Uh is it okay for us to put a 20% gratuity on top? Like and that's it, and you can leave. Yeah. Sure, do that. I don't want to sit there and do math. Hey, sir, how did you like the, the, did you like the service? 
did. I think it was it was very you were very attentive. You were very seemed to be pretty smart. You were very back and forth. You filled all the waters quickly. Is 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 twenty five percent okay? Yeah. But what if they? What if you? Don't, what if you don't think so? I guess that kind of puts you on the spot. You have thirty quizzes. Yeah. What do you think? I'm gonna be here for an hour. We're gonna be for like at least three to five hours. Uh, it, uh, what? I can't hang out and talk about White Claw for like twenty minutes. I'm not doing a political compass on stream. No. I would rather. I would just I'd rather electrocute myself. <laughs> like, like up to 200 volts. Like, <laughs> like in the chair. Then do a pull. Will that kill you? I don't think so. <laughs> He's gonna give himself the chair on stream. How much is too much? 200 is too much? Okay, anyways. Uh, I would. I order coffee after, you know, maybe I'll get a cappuccino or something. The iPad is cool. I love my iPad. I use it all the time. I lie in bed. I play Hearthstone Battlegrounds, by the way. I've become in the top 10 10 times. I've come in the top four 100 times. I've played like, I've played probably 200 hours of Battlegrounds. You guys don't even know. That's like my game right now. Now, this is a good one. Uh, dire Straits were. Air Guitar Heaven Who Cheesy, not like today's musicians, they could actually play. I actually don't know who this is. Why do I not know who this is? It's weird. I really- I don't know. I really don't- I- I-, I pro if you presented to me a song, I'd probably be like, oh, right, right, right. Uh, birthdays are a time to meet the family, a time to get wasted, a time for presents, something to ignore. Right, I'm 35, I don't care. Wake me up when I'm 50. Uh, the best way to become rich is to win the lottery, to work hard, to become a footballer. Get lucky. It's all about getting struck by lightning five times. What's the matter, Otto? Hold on. Cam going off. Dog wants to leave. No pants? See this guy. This guy, German 985s. Okay, so you see someone fall over in the street, you laugh, run over to make sure they're okay, thank the heavens it wasn't you, shake your head and think, Muppet. How far away am I? Okay, am, am, I, am I more than 100 feet away? Because it would be, uh, be like, oh, thank God that wasn't me. Am I within like 25 feet? Like, it's within 25 feet. Okay, I'd probably be like, hey, you, you good? You okay? The best thing on TV is The Big Bang Theory. Nope. The Simpsons, Family Guy. Nope. Love Island, X Factor. Nope. Nature documentaries. Nope. There's nothing on TV that's any good besides The Boys. Check that out if I were you. Uh, okay, Miley Cyrus is, like, so over. I, I don't know. Uh, the Miley Cyrus is not really... The, what was the last album? I haven't heard- I haven't really heard Miley Cyrus in a while. 2015, like, right? Probably like, yeah, it's not- it's probably moving on to do other things. 24. Late, hey, 24. This highly accurate age test has looked at your answers and evaluated that your mental age is 24. The test looks at your answers to the questions in relation to your attitude towards social and financial situations. These were just like mean questions. It's quite possible that you will not be happy with your age test result. If you're younger, you probably won't, don't want to have an age that makes you look older. If you are older, then you don't want to have a mental age of a youngster. Such unfortunately is life. You have to roll with the person you are and accept your personality. 
Some interesting stats for those that are interested in these things. 68% of people that take this test have a mental age of less than 30. This might be that 68% of people that take the test are less than 30, but it's very high age average. Here at MMA, we think it's more likely that people have a youthful attitude in life. But that's our ch I'm child. Okay, if you can like, if you can order drinks at a bar three times over, you've that's that's three times over. You can order drinks at a bar. Yeah, that means like 21, 22, 23, 24. It don't matter no more. You just do what you, you just hang out. People get grumpier as they get older. Kinda. Kinda. All right, that's my mental age is 24. Okay, cool. What's the next one? All right, this, I, I, this is like a test to see if I have like a color imbalance or something in my brain. All right, this is the color challenge. Okay, the first and last colored chips are fixed. Okay. Drag and drop the colors in each row to arrange them by hue color. Com complete all four color tests. My color IQ. All right, sure. So I just in shade? I could do this. I, I pretty got a pretty, pretty good eye. So we're going pink to orange. Don't, uh, nobody say anything yet. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Already a negative IQ. <laughs> We're going pink to orange. That's not, that's green. I already took the Myers-Briggs personality test. I got ENFP like 10 years ago. I did it on stream too, didn't I? All right, well, I'm not done. No, that's not right. Okay. I think that's it. Do it. All right. That that one's good. So we're going green to blue. This is really not. This is not hard. Why is this so hard? But people can't do. I, I, why, why, why is this difficult? This is ma bad monitor. Do I have a shitty monitor? It actually gets a little harder on this next one. Alright, wait, 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 wait. That's close, but wait. This one's kind of freaking me out. I don't like this one. Is this is that that's wrong, isn't it? I got it. That's right. No, it's not. All right, that that one's correct. This is blue to purple. All right, we gotta go shit because the ones on the left and right are fixed. I can't move them. Eyes of a twenty-four-year-old. <laughs> Dude, the white balance of my cameras were getting fucked up. Okay? That's the real that's the real color imbalance here. Hold on. Okay, there. You look pink. <laughs> Let me just hold my face up there. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm, hold on. All right, that's, this is close enough. I don't even care if I get this wrong. I don't care. What, I can't, I can't put like colored cubes together? Who cares? I, I can do this some other time. No, it's gonna be, this would be accurate. 
All right, purple back here. Do it by go left to right. That's done, right? Yeah, that was easy. All right, this one's gonna be the hard one. Why are you giving that much money? Let's get 50 community subs. Freddy Dread with the 50 subs. Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking money. Freddy Dread, a resident billionaire, gives uh, like $3,000 to this stream every few months. Maniac. Hey, here's to that. That that's, that's a huge amount of money. Thank you. All right, let me finish this. I'm almost there. Done. Why does that look wrong? But that looks wrong though. But it's not. All right, I'm done. Score my test. Two. Okay, that scared me. I thought that was very bad. A lower score is better with zero being a perfect score. The circle graph displays the regions of the color spectrum where your hue discrimination is low. What does that mean? I can't di differentiate like blues? It means I suck at blue. So what's a high what's the high end there? Compare age. Best score for your gender is nine 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 nine. What score? Worst score? A hundred and six. What somebody just put it? Uh, uh, how, how do I read this? I don't know how to read that. I don't know what this data is telling me. Act. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's my color hue. 70 IQ, don't worry. All right, next. Uh, I was told to do these. This is a uh, human uh, benchmarking. All right, let's do this one. I don't know what this means. Classic coming up. All right, are you smarter than a chimpanzee? Click the squares in order according to their numbers. The test will get progressively harder. Am I smarter than a chimpanzee? Put the squares in order according to their numbers. One, two, three, four. Okay. How does this get, why does it get harder? One, oh fuck. I didn't know that's what happened. Okay, I gotta. One, two, three, four. Okay, one. Chimpanzee's done at it, but Chimpanzee lost in round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. If <laughs> I didn't have fucking Mario in the background. Turn, okay, the Super Mario song is fucking me up. Get the fuck out of here. All right, what's what's the score then? What did I get? Save the score. What does that mean? Percentile. What does 17 percentile mean? Does that mean that I'm like really smart? 
Only 17% of people got as far as I did. That's pretty- that's top 17%. That's pretty good. What's wrong with that? Okay, aim trainer. Hit 30 targets as quickly as you can. Click the targets above to begin. Okay. I, this is messing with my concentration. It's like showing me colors and stuff. Okay, just shoot the targets. You can tell my DPI is wrong. 520 milliseconds, let's see. I'm, I'm better than- I'm better than 70% of all gamers. That's bad. How is that bad? That's bad- that, that- Heck, you know what? Who takes this- these quizzes? Like, you guys. Who takes these tests? Besides, like, gamers and computer enthusiasts. My parents didn't take this. It's bottom 30%. You're looking at it wrong. You're reading it wrong. That means I'm in the bottom 30 percentile. <laughs> I don't care about Facebook. People can kind of scroll through and Okay. Anyways. Uh hearing. Oh, I gotta turn my volume up for this one. I got good ears. You know why I have such good ears? Because I never have loud sounds in my head. Ever. I don't listen to music. I don't go to concerts. I don't talk very loudly unless I'm in an environment where I'm a uh, twitch.tv slash German 985 live streamer. I'm gonna get this one pretty good, trust me. I have like weird superhuman fucking hearing. I swear to God, I'm turning the volume up for this one. I'm gonna be in like the top 90%. I swear to God, trust me. You wanna see? I'll prove that the gamer war went away. Look at that. There's just a little bit of uh, some scar tissue. It'll heal over nicely. It's gone. Okay, this is, what is this? Okay. I can't have Kingdom Hearts music be playing while I'm taking a hearing test. That's fucking stupid. Okay, here we go. High frequency sound will play. Click as soon as you hear the sound. Wait, I, I, I already heard it. That hurt so bad. I already heard it. That like hurt my head. I could hear it already. I heard it immediately. I heard no. Okay, I didn't. I didn't, I heard that like immediately. What do you mean, liar? It was like I. I was like, what? What am I trying to wait for? I, look, I. I was even. I didn't even understand how the game worked. That I'm better than sixty percent of all you fucking plebs. Uh, that one hurt. I don't want to do that one again. Typing. Uh oh. Oh, is it pulled up one of the loaf at the corner? <laughs> to open the door in the hope of earning a copper. Just needed a little minute to warm up there. Okay. But was it elbowed away by another loafer? Who 
who had rushed up with the same intention. A fierce quarrel broke out, which was increased. How do you spell that? By two, by the two guardsmen. <laughs> I'm reading the actual Kingdom Hearts storyline. Who took sides with one of the loungers. And by the scissors grinder who was not equally hot upon the other side. Might as well be. Who was equally upon the other side? Forty-four fucking words in a minute. Wait, what does that mean? Are you sure I'm reading this wrong? That okay, my head still hurts from the hearing test. Is that odd? Is that I feel like I just permanently caused problems for myself. That means I'm better than 50% of everybody. Look at the stats. Oh, okay, hold on. Average user. Oh, dude, that I'm fucking look at this. I'm right at the beginning of the curve. I sold at the right time. See the people here. You're not gonna sell. You're gonna hold it. You're gonna. It's gonna get to here, and you're gonna be like, "Fuck, maybe I should get out." I. Right, that's the perfect place to be. So what about the other ones? I don't want to give it away, but I have to. Nobody, nobody look at the top. Nobody look at the top. Don't look at the top. Don't look up there. Okay, what about this one? Hearing. Okay, typing. Really? I feel like I that was I, that was dog shit. I'm actually that's very average. I feel like that was terrible. Okay. And what about aim trainer? Look at, I'm in like the top percentile here. All right, what about the chimp test? That's average, that's all right. All right, let's do verbal memory. We'll do this one. Smash Brothers, all right. All right, we're gonna do verbal memory. You will be shown words one at a time. If you've seen a word during the test, click scene. If it's a new word, click new. Actually, a musical help for this one. If you've seen a word during the test, say, say you saw it already. If it's a new word, click new. Oh! 
But that's a that's a trumpet. That's not a guitar. That's good. All right, number memory. So that's my best one. I got the best verbal memory in the world. I've got so much. I have so many vocabulary words up here. He's inhuman. And all of a sudden, you see my eyes just go like. And then somebody goes, I knew, I knew all along he was an alien. And then there's like a thousand Reddit posts about how fucking actually I'm like a CIA project or something. Let's just do that one day. I really should set up like an elaborate thing where uh, like my eyes actually go like, and I just don't even mention it. So, uh, that, what a way to game Reddit posts. Okay, number memory, let's go. The average person can remember seven numbers at once. Can you do more? Uh, with Smash Brothers, I could probably do way more. How many number? How many numbers can you remember? Here we go. Two. Here we go. Twenty-four. Already smarter than the fifth grader. Nine two five. I'm gonna kill this, by the way. I gotta shut the fuck up when I lean back. <laughs> Just get the shit out of me. <laughs> No, no, get it off. Get it off. I don't like this one. Okay. I had it. I fucking had it. This is Street Fighter music. It's too upbeat. I need like, I need like, like, uh, what? Winston Church? Winston Churchill? The host of YouTube's creator game. What's happening? April, I invited 32 of the biggest YouTubers in the world to compete in a rock paper scissors tournament. Where was I? Of a million dollars. Quarter of a million dollars. Where, where was I? Oh. But there could only be one winner. What are we? Oh yeah, right. Okay, this is Call of Duty. What? Where are we doing? All right, I don't like that one. This one's all right. All right, so we got, uh, I, I, I could have got better, I, I, I got close. Visual memory. This is, yeah, they're bringing back crazy memories. All right, I had to stop for a second. The second level, level two, when you're in the ship and you're shooting the little pew, 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 with the side scroller. This game's a this is great. Super Mario Land, one of the best. That's the best Game Boy game that ever came out. Was that wrong? Wrong. That happens in Super Mario Land. All right, let's go. Visual memory. Memorize the squares. I can take photos uh, of things.
Was? Oh. Perfect fucking score! Ah, oh, fuck! Fuck! Let's go. Hey, you, you seeing a pattern here? I have superhuman like word and visual memory. And my hearing's really good. But I don't I don't do numbers very well. Okay, what's last? Reaction time. If I don't get the world record first try, I will delete uh this into the trash, the cap, after I'm done using it. When the red dot, when the red box turns green, click as quickly as you can. Oh! Just saying. Hey. Just saying. That's average trash. <laughs> Hold on, I got... Wait. Alright, alright, it's alright. <laughs> Please stop? What? Alright, there you go, there's my test. He's zerking off. Alright, so why, why did I do so poorly on the chimpanzee test? That's pretty good. Do it again. No, uh, you gotta live with what you have. I'm not, I, I'm... Th 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 oh. That's the best one. Okay, let's move on. There you go. What is next? I don't, what is this? Wait. Find out. Ow. Okay, coming up next is... Okay. Can you name all 40 of these animals? See if I can. So many tabs. Okay, scroll to start. What is the name of this marine mammal known for its long tooth? That's a, uh, is an arwal. That's correct. Here come all the, uh, the, all the ads. Which name is given to this long-tailed rodent? That is not a hamster. That is a, as a jerboa. Yep, okay. Do you know what the name of this black-capped bird? That is a arctic tern. Thank you. I'll take three in a row. This animal lives in the Mojave Desert. What is it called? That is a painted turtle. I was gonna go with the obvious one, 
but okay, HBO. I don't want to have HBO. All right, what venomous animal do you see pictured here? There's a, there's a monster. Yeah. What name is given to this canine that also eats plants? That's Jackal. This bear's Latin name is Ursus Martimimus. But what do we call it? How would you not get polar bear? Holy shit, that's what those look like? That's, a, an, that's what an aardvark actually looks like? This, why are they such a cartoon character? That's kind of like a nightmare animal. I feel like that's what my dog looks like when I have a dream where there's a dog in it. Right? That's like normal for your dog to look like that in a dream. Like, oh yeah, th that's my dog. Oh, I, I already know this. It's a lynx. I played Chrono Cross. What's the name given this foot-long amphibian? That is an oxalotl. What name is the right name of this cute but tough critter? That is not a porcupine. That's not- wait a minute. Is it a porcupine? Or, it's a porcupine. Yes, it is. Uh, Nemo made this fish famous. What kind of fish is that? That is a clownfish. This bird's call sounds like potato chip. Do you know what kind of bird that is? Like a crunch? Potato chip. Potato chip. What does that mean? Potato chip! Potato chip! It's an American goldfinch. What is? Did you tell me? I, oh, I looked at. I looked at chat. No, I didn't. I'm looking at you right now. So, oh, he looked at chat. No, he didn't. You would have seen my eyes go over here. Uh, what's the name of this spotted animal? That is a cheetah. That is. I don't. It's a poison dart frog. <gasps> what's the name of this creature that uses jet propulsion to swim? That is an octopus. Wait. That was a trick question. You know what this massive animal is called? That is called a bison. It's not an iguana, but what is it? That is a chameleon. I would have thought this song was cool like four years ago. Ooh, it got Hitman. Oh. What is this? No, no Fallout. Now you got me, it's Super Metroid. Don't give me the answer, I already know it anyways, it's a fucking lemur. This is, which whale is not Moby Dick, which kind of whale is it? That is a sperm whale. Oh, fuck. That's not right. Are you able to identify this animal that is often confused for a bear? That is a wolverine. Which name is given to this majestic bird? Bald eagle! What's the name of the snake that can weigh up to 200 pounds? Anaconda. Fuck. Are you sly enough to identify this mammal? Uh oh. A red fox. It's a relative of the trout and the salmon, but can you name it? The marlin. Oh, fuck you. I don't want to- I don't care about- stop- why have the same- like, HBO, HBO, how much ad space did HBO pay for today? You know which pack animal you see? That is a kai- no, it's not. It's a gray wolf. You tricked me a little bit here. They have a bigger face. What is the name of this right- what's the right name of this flying giant? That is not an albatross. Wait, albatross is a seagull. Wait, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a seagull. Can you correctly choose the name for this marsupial? That is an opossum. I feel like I've done 200. How many more are there? I feel like I've done so many. Science calls it the Marmota Monax, but what do we call it? That is a groundhog. This cat is a great swimmer. What name does it have? It's a ocelot. What's the name of this tropical bird known for its beauty? That is a uh, bird I... This animal likes to like likes to outsmell his opponents. Which that's a lemur. 
I thought that was just a person. I thought it was gonna be like a cheeky little end, like, oh, this thing likes to go in the water on vacation. I thought that was a, like a person's like stomach. That's not a common octopus, giant octopus. Smooth skin octopus. Oh. What is the name of this termite eating berry? He looks like he just woke up. Sloth bear? Uh, that's a black bear. No, what? What is that? That is pre-shower bear. That's how everybody feels like they feel like and they look like in the mirror. Which name is given to this canine member? Uh, that's not a coyote, that's not a hyena, that's a dingo. That's a skunk, right? Okay. That's a, I almost said bird. That is a, why can I not say this? That's a mamba. That's a bird. It's not an ostrich, it's an emu. Can you correctly name this? I was gonna get one, decided against it. Not into that right now. Okay, the original Smash Brothers theme though, yes. Uh, this is a dove. 78% average score. Seven, come on, better than the average. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Something wrong with this track. Not that, 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 that was audio was fucked up on that one. Why was that so weird? Okay. All right, I got 70. That's uh, that's a C plus. What's next? Okay, this is statistical which character personality quiz. This uh, I guess assesses who you are as a fictional character. So I I've never taken this before. I don't know how much is in here. I don't know what the. Um... I'm not into that either. I'm not into any of the Smash Brothers right now. Both Mario and Luigi, not into them. Actually, this is- I'm, I'm into this. I mean, this is alright. I like this one. Alright, so let's go. Uh, we're gonna find out what fictional- this is like a big fictional character test. Use the slider to indicate where you fall on this spectrum. Deranged or reasonable? I feel like I'm pretty re I'm a pretty reasonable guy. I'm gonna say, like, kind of, I'm more reasonable than I am deranged. No, I'm not completely deranged. What, you guys want me to have the Tasmanian Devil right off the bat? Because if you do that, you're the Joker or the Tasmanian Devil. I'll go here. I am 40% uh, reasonable. A blue collar or ivory tower? I mean, I, I, I am, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I, I, Angelic or demonic? We're demonic, definitely. I've, I've, guys, I've like, I've like praised Satan like 25 times on this stream. Even as a joke, it's still there. Outlaw or sheriff? I play by the rules, but on my own terms, like every fucking major character that's come out in the last 40 years. Okay, stinky or fresh? That's a 50-50, it really is. Charming or awkward? I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. That could be 50-50 as well. Dun, 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 Sacred hearts to fill the void with my soul. Saying adjectives as stringing them together with words. Oh, I already did this joke before and everybody really got pissed off. Right? I, I, I did that before. I like did like the, I say lyric on every single beat and people got really mad and I put like a bunch of adjectives like the song has. They're, okay. <laughs> Fine. 
Adventurers who are stuck in the- I'm stuck in the fucking mud right now, you know what I mean? I'm just like, nah, leave me be. Leave me be, I have another season to watch. Creepy or disarming? Ooh. What is it? What is that? What's the difference? What do you mean disarming? I'm not creepy. You're creepy and disarming. Emotional or logical? Uh, I tend to I tend to let my emotions take over. Uh, nerd or? Hold on though, I have I have that I have that two hundred sub like powerlifting video. Uh, spiritual or skeptical? Okay. Uh, frugal or lavish? Hmm. How lavish though? I'm not that lavish. You bought you bought a carnival to do a stream. Yeah, but that That wasn't for me, that was for you. Okay, fine. Uh stylish or slovenly? He's not wearing pants. Not that much though. I'm not like smelly and stinky and shit here. Well, sometimes I am, but not really. Masculine or feminine? It's 50 50. I, I like, I power lift. I like throw fucking punches. But I also do face masks. That's a 50, that's a 50, 50 depending on the deck. That's 50, 50 depending on the deck. Sometimes I just want to take a bath and like do like a charcoal like scrub. And other days I want to like scream at a wall. That's Patrick Bateman. All right, creative or conventional? Oh, we are going somewhere over here. I think I'm pretty creative. I'm if you know if I what creative just proved it arcane or mainstream power total corruption total power uh use slider okay feisty or gracious I'm a little feisty. I think that's accurate. Can we just hear this? Oh, this is the Zelda song that everybody loves. There we are. All right, the song, but like I, I paid Blizzard. Oh, I paid Blizzard every month to play their game, and I even, oh, I even forgot that it was installed, and I played paid Blizzard like fucking sixty months straight without even fucking realizing. And I, and when I finally realized that, I kind of just didn't care, and I was like, well, I don't really care. 
Oh! Right here. Lo I'm loyal as fuck. Unless you cross me. Not anymore. Name one time that I was a traitor. When did I cross you? I've never crossed you. I'm a loyal streamer. I won't let you down. Until I do. And I'm sure I hear about it every day. God, this song is fucking good. That's sick penis music. I don't want to... Okay. Uh, formal or intimate? I feel like I'm a pretty intimate person. Although I am pretty formal though. That's probably 3268. I'm sorry, I don't want to hear it right now. I'm sorry, I know people are going to be mad that I skipped, like, Sonic music. Oh fuck, I forgot about this is- what is this? What is this magical piece of composery? At the speed of sound, good places to go, gonna follow my rainbow. Guys, everything's gonna keep moving on, fears right ahead, the way to- I don't know the lyrics. On. I, I, you know, I, can't, I can't say it if I don't know the lyrics. Everyone knows that first part. Nobody knows the rest of it. This worst singing? That was actually really fucking good. Okay? If you want to... Okay, I understand if, like, don't sing. I hate singing on stream. But try and tell me that that was not even remotely okay. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking dunce. That was supposed to be for me, but you know, it's a, that, I deserve that. Uh, selfish or altruistic? Well, turn it back on, it's a good song. Dude, I want, I want to just listen to this on repeat and just turn the stream off. No, I'm not, well, come on. I, my whole life is just chaos. It really is. I know this is like a meme. Like, my life is chaos. I am chaos. Power. Like, I, I'm a good guy, but I'm a bad guy. Everything's crazy. I'm not orderly. I don't follow the rules. I know, but seriously. Like, I start my stream 20 minutes late every fucking day. Uh, I have to- I've ha I haven't cleaned my fucking office in like a year. Uh, I- I never can stay in the same place at the same time. I'm constantly moving my fucking hands around, touching my, like, self and looking at myself in the mirror. Um, I don't know what to eat every day. I, I find out what I'm going to eat every single day, 10 minutes before I eat it. There's no order in this life at all. Sober or indulgent? Pretty indulgent. I don't know about sober. <laughs> I'm going to start singing. I'm going to do it. I'm about to do it. <laughs> the visceral, just raw reaction to hearing that phrase. You're drunk. Guys, this is essentially a water with like a quarter of a shot in it. It's like, it's drinking one beer. If you think I look red and sweaty, Welcome to my life. I'm just a sweaty guy. I just have oil coming out of all my pores. All of them. All my pores. There's oil and shit coming out of my knees. I have like watery knees. Why do you think I take so many baths? Okay. Uh, I'm indulging you. I mean, I'm pretty... Mm, this is 50-50. I could not be left alone. If I was left alone for more than a day, 
I would lose my fucking mind. Like if, if I didn't like, if I didn't stream or something, if I was alone, no, I have to, I have to talk to, I have to talk to somebody. Have to. Me and my watery knees, yeah. No, we're doing that one again. Where'd it go? All right, we're doing that one again, Encore. Okay, I, I thought the mouse was a bug on my other monitor as I was moving it around. Because the, the preview's over here. And I thought it was a bug. It was like, there's a fucking bug in here. I'm a pretty lenient guy. Deep or shallow? Shallow? How? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. 50-50. Poisonous. I'm I'm toxic personality. I I'm, I might be pretty poisonous. I don't know. I'm not toxic, but I might be poisonous. Okay, just because somebody is poisonous doesn't mean that they're like a toxic person, right? Like, a, a, a tree frog is poisonous, but they're not toxic. They're not, like, calling you names and shit when you walk by them in the tree. They just, you just don't, just don't touch them. Or you're fucking done. Last question. I'm pretty bossy. I won't lie. Okay, who am I? What character? Let's do it on the breakdown. Rate some characters. I mean, rate characters. Give me my fucking results. No, I'm sorry. I have an 82% match with Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> Kramer? Where, where's the, where's like the, where's Batman? Where's like the Riddler? Where's like the Incredible Hulk? Johnny from the room. Ruta Perry from Community, Cosmo Kramer from Seinfeld. Michael Scott from The Office, no! I'm not a Michael, I'm a Jim! See? Timon? <laughs> George Bluth? Rebecca Bunch? Pamela from Archer, Gene Belcher. <sighs> Ed from Shaun of the Dead, Johnny Chase from Entourage, Frank <laughs> Reynolds. Krusty the fucking clown. Where's Captain America? Where's Spider-Man? Where is Homer Simpson? How did they know this? Ooh, Peter Jason Quill. Who the fuck is that? Who's Peter Jason Quill? What, what superhero is Peter Jason Quill? Who is he? That's Star-Lord. I get to be Star-Lord. I get to be Star-Lord. I'm okay with that. Crazy eyes. Elaine. All right. I'll take Elaine. I'll take Elaine. I. 
Bart Simpson. I can't believe I got Tommy Wiseau. D. E. Reynolds. Okay. Fine. George Weasley. <laughs> Come on, where's Spider Man? Where's Spider Man? Adam Sandler? Oh, no. Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Okay. Tracy Jordan. Eric Cartman. Peter Venkman. Now we're getting down to like the yeah you you could tell people that you that they were on this list. <sighs> God damn it, Jesse from Pokemon. Wait, like Jesse and James? Well, we have our from the stars above, Jesse, James. Which one? No, Je Jesse's Jesse, James. Not Meowth, though. All right, well, all right. Carl Gallagher. Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. This sucks how true this all is. Isn't it right? This, like, sucks that I have to look at this and be like, I am Tommy Wiseau. I'm the guy from The Room. All right, hold, let me, wait, why is there no music? Minecraft, Pog. Uh-huh. Lisa. I got Tony Soprano? Tony Soprano, why? I'm Mary, Mary. All right, now, now this, we're getting, this is a stretch. This is now a stretch. Rex from, okay, I, I, agree, I agree with Rex. Hound Solo, there you go, I get to be a superhero. Do, am I every character from the room? Where's the Joker? Wait, that's the Dark Knight Joker. That's like the psycho weird Joker, not like the comedy funny Joker from the cartoon. That's the Joker that's like scary and nobody likes to be around. He's terrifying. The, the Joker from the cartoon has, that goes like, and has like jokes and stuff. The music's too loud. All right, I got you. All right, yeah, now, but this is every single character that's ever existed. Who am I the least like? Eric, Cho Chang from Harry Potter. Rita Elizabeth from Obi-Wan Kenobi. What? I'm not, I'm the least like Jorah Mormont? I find that to be ridiculous. Fuck, get, get these, get the, uh, hold on, I got it. Khaleesi, your dragons. It's been a while since I've seen the show, but I think I can still do it. I, I, I that was all right. It's been a while. Where's Captain America? Uh, is it Captain America on here? Where? Yeah, but the, the guys, this is not, these are the characters that I, that I, I might as well just, this is bullshit. Like, okay, this is like, I put this shit on my resume. And it's technically true, but not fucking really at all. Oh, it says here. Wow. But where, where? 13 what? 1392. Oh, wow. Mr. Albertson says here that you matched with Captain America in a personality quiz? Yeah. Yeah, me and Captain America, we, we're this fucking, we're the same. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Okay. Look at this guy. I mean, if you had been like Tommy Wiseau or something, I would have like thrown this stack of fucking papers at you and hopefully it would have hit you in the face. Yeah, that'd be fucking weird, wouldn't it? Captain America here, only Captain America and Spider-Man and Tony Stark and, uh, and, uh, Jim from The Office. I want to go back to the top for a second. You, it's, you, you gotta, it's your top five. Anything over 80% is like, you can't, you can't. It's an ad, relax. Oh, Cuphead. Well, Cuphead and his pal, but man, they like it's Johnny from the fucking room. Dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting 
Michael Scott, man, this is just, these are the top five people you don't really want to be. Kramer is pretty solid. I mean, maybe I move around kind of weird, I guess. Anyways, uh, we're gonna move on. That's Tommy Wiseau. I got, and even the like the, that. Why that image? You couldn't have like a like a like a like a more attractive picture of Tommy Wiseau, like looking at smiling into the camera. Move on. What's next? I have to do this. I have to get this out of the way because uh, this was recommended, and I'm just gonna do it because like fucking might as well like put myself up out as like a big target for people to throw onions at and tomatoes. Here we go. Uh, I am 35 years. And one month old. My height is five. That's okay. I'm. I'm. I am. I am twenty three percent taller than twenty two men on this planet. Top 78% total timing on that music. <laughs> sad music, sad music, sad music. Omega Law. Just out of curiosity. What the fuck? No way! If you're six feet tall, you're 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 taller than 80% of the fucking population? No, it didn't update. What? So what, what about 5'11"? Hold on, 5'11". I feel like that's, I think this is wrong. Is this accurate? Whatever, I'm taller than 22% of every male. I feel like this music's mocking me right now. I gotta get rid of it. There we go, that's better, Donkey Kong. Okay, uh, this is what animal are you? Really just sticking the nail in here. Right after the other. This is not even music. No, that's too, too, too crazy. Too crazy. Yeah, sure. This, uh, I like this. This is good. Okay, uh, uh, how big are you? I am not petite. That uh, If I was petite, guys, I'd be like 5'2". Okay, 5'7 to 5'8 is not petite. It's small, but I'm sturdy. I got fucking pants on, right? You know what I mean? Like, this is a sturdy fucking man. You understand? Like, this, I'm a sturdy fucking guy. You know? I'm like, I'm like a kind of a stack of shit. How aggressive are you? Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm very forceful, don't mess with me. I'm a little hot-headed, I'm working on it. I take a middle ground and only react aggressively when the situation calls for it. I never go looking for trouble, but I'm no pushover. I think I, I'm, I, I'm pretty grounded, but if I need to, I did move the mic. See how fucking fast that was? It my headphones flew out of my ears. Now, imagine you were like coming at me. <laughs> I'd be right in the neck, right in the throat, and you'd be like, <coughs> how social. <laughs> You that that's what you're gonna show, show for social? Is two parents like making out? I prefer the company. I'm pretty outgoing and I'm comfortable socializing with groups of all sides. I'm extremely outgoing and function and all yeah, I, I can function anywhere. Give me anywhere. Show me up at your party, your birthday, concert, crowd, group, small group, one one person. I can do it. I can do it all. How attractive do you think you are? Okay, off stream I click this one. 
on stream, I click this one to make you not, not think I'm a fucking psycho. You know what I mean? Off stream, I would, yeah, um, that's me. Off, on stream, hey guys. Am I above average? You sure? No, that's like better for some of you. That like, oh yeah, do that again. I'm... Well, now I've messed it all up. It took me an hour to get this right. There we go. I'm not as creative as a monkey playing a guitar, I don't think. I'm not one for writing songs, or I don't color within the lines. Oh, you do? Uh, I don't. I'm definitely an out-of-the-box creature, and I love creating in all of its forms. It's the same jokes? Well, it's the same test. I'm very compassionate. I usually put the needs of friends and family above my own. I'm cooperative and willing to help friends in need, but I have my own life, too. Someone has to look out for number one, call me selfish. No. This one. Why is it all monkeys? How intelligent are you? I have a bit of a nerd streak, and I love intellectual challenges. I'd score pretty high on Leopardy. Uh, that's an L. That's not a J. That's very clear. That's that says that's an L. <laughs> Louder. Why is it getting? Why is the Minecraft music getting closer? It's like, I'm getting closer, motherfucker. I'm coming in your I'm coming in your ears right now. You better be ready for me. It's mad. Now you've made me mess up my hairstyle. It looked fine, and now I looked crazed. Okay, that's better. Okay, we're good. Uh I'm not the brightest crayon in the box, but I'm not a fool. How athletic are you? Not anymore. Travel and exploration. How do you feel about traveling? I'm a homebody and enjoy staying close to home. I enjoy... Uh, I, don't, I don't want to travel everywhere. I don't, I'm not one of those people. I don't want to go... Uh, like, see the world. I don't... No, there's like three places I really want to see. I don't really care. But I'm not... I like to do things where I am. Right? I love going out and doing shit all the time. Like, I love going out in my area, but I don't want to get in, like, pack a bag and go to fucking London or something. Yeah. All right, how impulsive are you? Where? I mean, I live in Las Vegas, man. Where do you want me to go? Okay, how impulsive? I'm always deliberate and cautious. I admit that I'm more impulsive than I should be, but it makes for great... I thought that was going to say great content. All right, what animal? What's what animal? What animal am I? I don't want to open this. What's going on? I just heard an animal. <laughs> I just heard an animal. I just heard like an animal yelling. I think that was auto. Okay, the, the, this page won't even load. <laughs> Why won't this page load? Did you guys crash the website? You had too many people to do this. Okay, I got speed run. Stop opening this website. Uh, I'm uh, kind of out of the box. Uh, uh, cooperative. I may not be the brightest, but I'm not a fool. 
I uh, I like to keep fit. I'm a, I watch TV. Does that count? Travel. Uh, I like to go day trips. Uh, okay. Now we're getting to the good shit. All right. Now um, I'm, I'm impulsive. What's the animal? Anybody want a gift card? Oh, that's bullshit. Which Neo pet are you? Staying with the animal theme here. Okay, uh, you boy or girl boy, I say it's your last day in Neopia ever. What do you do? I don't know what any of these are. Play Tombola, Neo mail all of your friends, sell all of your stuff, collect your bank interest, or cry and wave goodbye to your Neo pets. I probably, if this is my last day in Neo Petopia, I'd cry and say bye to my Neo pets. Pick an item, any item. Beef Ruladin, Laugh Grenade. I mean, I don't think, do I have to do anything else? I don't have to click anything else. When you read the Neopian Times, which section do you click first? Comics, bunnies. Who would you pick first to be on your team? Dr. Death. If you were going to start a guild, where would you put it? At the, uh, the Lenny Library. If a war were to break out in Neopio, which would you be? A minion of sloth. Doesn't that make me a sloth? I would be a loyal warrior. <laughs> what? Why is everybody doing Monka S? How often do you visit the grooming parlor? Oh, are you kidding? I practically live there. I go there often. Uh, I'll swing by on a half price day to get like a bargain, to get like a shower or something. I don't know. If you could be the star of any game, what would it be? Carnival of Terror. If you could see any band at the Tyranian concert hall, who would you see? Two gallon hats. You are a pink slorg. It's a clown slug. Mood. Well, I can't say mood to try to connect with the millennials and the Zoomer crowd. Why not? Alright, I'm the pink slurry. That's pretty cool. It's a clown slug. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I'm allowed to do that. Hey. You know how fucking... <laughs> you know how chaotic I am. I'll do something crazy. If you don't fucking agree with me. I'm not even gonna talk for this one. Look at how many fucking ads are on this page. Have you ever got bit by a dog? No. How intimidating are you? Eh, not really. Are you wild, calm, or somewhere in the middle? Uh, I'm sorry, nah, somewhere in the middle. How forgetful are you? I forget everything. Do you have any problems with bullies? They count? Do they count? You understand irony. Yes. What do your clothes look like? I look like my I look like my clothes were made for me because they were. They looked stretched because of my bulging muscles. I don't whatever. Do you smoke cigarettes? No. Why would that have to do with a fursona? What do you like to read? Poetry, obituaries, food labels, actually accurate. Newspaper articles. Food labels, yeah. I, I read all kinds of food labels. I'm, I love it. Do you cook? No. I, I'd rather buy dinner. I don't cook. Choose a wheel. Skate wheel. Ab wheel. Wheel of fortune. Well, I don't know. I don't care about the other ones. You want to eat, but you don't have a fork. I'll eat with the popsicle stick. I'll swallow the food whole. That's what teeth are for. I guess I'll just starve to death. I'll just suck it up with my mouth. What, like, <laughs> just on the plate? 
Who would? Okay, what animal would do that? Okay. I would probably try to use some kind of I would try to use like chopsticks or some kind of utensil. Uh, I'm outgoing. And you fly. No. Humans can't fly. And you swim. I can doggy paddle. Yep. What's your disposition? Uh, happy go lucky. What kind of dance do you do? Where's the fucking floss, man? Is this not too old? I don't know what any of these are. I don't know. Uh, herky jerky. What kind of music makes you feel happy? What food do you like? Uh, gummy worms, seafood. I love seafood. Okay, word association. Just pick the one that looks right. Was it green? Uh, uh, palm tree. Oh, flush. Uh, kindergarten. You get stressed out easily. Mm. No. What do you dream about? He he, I can't share it here. I'm not clicking that one. Uh, I, I don't know. My family, usually it's about family friends. Do you wear glasses? No. What kind of art do you like? I like um, modern art. Are you looking for a serious relationship? You're far so- <laughs> Folks! Soar the seagull! I get to be a seagull! How is that not the most pog moment of the whole year? Sheer- Okay, hold on. I almost- Stop with the fucking engagements. I almost was the snake. Wait. Oh no, this is what people were. Caw caw. Oh, why did I just say that out loud? Which horse matches your first? Team reshape society. Entrepreneurs who launch their dream. Hi, I'm Chris Rock. Here's destiny music. What horse matches personality? I don't know. I don't think I, I'm just gonna skip this one. This is what I don't know. This one's stupid. I just this is I it was an animal theme. What historical figure do you admire? Um, uh, the, I don't know the warrior queen. Which of these living figures do you admire? Why is Sean White on here? Wait, Sean White the snowboarder? You know why I admire Sean White the most? Because he got on this list somehow. Do you enjoy reading? Yeah. How well do you cook? I call for takeout. It's the weekend. What's what's first on your Saturday agenda? Sleeping in. Uh, what's your approach to fashion? I spend money on good clothes, but I don't have a signature look. I like clothes that are durable and comfortable. Yep. Uh, what genre of music do you enjoy most? Classical. Oh, no, that's not even right. I, can I change my answer? That's not even right. Why did I do? No. Old fashioned rock and roll. I changed my answer. Opera. I don't give a shit about opera. Why would I click that? Oh, no, wait. Uh, that, sounded, that, that sounded pretty rude. I, what I meant to say was I don't like listen to opera. Not that I don't care. It's a very, very hard thing to do. Like, really talented people do opera. Which of these would you like most for breakfast? Eggs, bacon, to Yeah, oh, yeah. What kind of home suits you best? A townhouse, a simple house, a wired one with everything controlled from my phone. That's terrifying, I don't want that. 
I want the thing that's completely- I want the fucking cottage that has no electricity and you shit in a fucking bathtub 40 feet behind the back door. I don't want that. Studio, I could clean with a hose. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Which of these would you most likely choose as a hobby? I already did that, so we'll do that one. What's your idea of a good first date? Uh, this one is like, I would just pretend to know what I was doing. This is the real one. This is the one that I'm pretending. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I brought, I brought you here, and I'm very, very smart. No, it'd be bowling and like a couple of beers or something. What's a good age to get married? Oh, I did it. I clicked it. How many children do you have or want? I don't know. I can't, I, I can't even tie my shoes correctly. I can't raise another human. Are you close to your family? Definitely. Which of these movie genres do you like the most? Comedy? How do you feel about marijuana? Let me tell you. CBD? THC? It, it, it pretty much changed my fucking life. I started taking, for medical reasons, marijuana. And I had a lot of pain problems. And just giving you some anecdotal evidence, felt a little better. Not too much. Don't do. Don't be a fucking psycho. If it's legal in your area, and you can maybe try it. If it's legal, and you're not breaking any fucking rules, don't do anything stupid. Maybe in a safe environment. Uh, it did a lot for me actually. So I would. Can I? I would testify. Uh, it's kind of smelly and low rent. What do you mean low rent? I mean, low rent. How do I delete that? Okay. Yeah, if you say this, why do I feel like you smoke like cigarettes, like two packs a day, and like you like Coke is in your fridge more than the actual drink? You get a gift card. This is a- how fucking detailed is this to determine what kind of a horse I am? What? With this one I have halfway- what kind of- uh, why is this so detailed? This is- this better be accurate. You get a gift card to a well-stocked shoe shop, what do you buy? Comfortable. No, no. Nothing comfortable. You've had a fight with your significant other, how do you resolve it? Sounds dull, but it's usually talk it out. Brood for a while. They've got to apologize. I know it's arrogant. <laughs> Make up sex. What? Okay. Listen. What does this have to do with a horse? Horses don't talk to each other. Horses don't like have breakups and then make up sex. Like horses don't like have like that. It's not like you, there's no what, what arguments. Would you have sex on the first date? Oh god, this is some weird fucking date of mine. Ah. To be honest, I have. But I tell my kids not to. I'm such a hypocrite. No. No. I'm sorry. No. Not on the first date. Come on. Look, I, it's gonna take me a few dates to find out if if you like don't want to take like a vaccine. You know what I mean? It's gonna take me a few days for you to be like, oh, and by the way, uh, like I think that uh, I think that we're all aliens. Oh, date number two. We had sex two days ago. Oh, this person thinks that we're aliens. Ooh. 
Uh, now you want to come back over. How about we, um... Just talk for the rest of the day and... You can, listen to me. Some of you might be in your date. Some of you guys might be in the age where you're dating, you're talking to people. Give it a little bit of time. Don't just trust me. At least a few dates. At least a couple of weeks. Then you'll figure that out after like maybe a few weeks. And this is a banger. Don't die. It's insane. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, what kind of pet appeals to you? Dog. At what point in a marriage is it best to get a divorce? What the fuck does this have to do with horses? What does this have to do with- what does this have to do with horses? When it's hurting the kids. I mean, if you- like, if you're just not happy anymore, uh, like, I don't know, when it's- if you can work it, if you can make it work for the sake of the family, maybe, I don't know, but like, if you don't, you don't make yourself suffer. Well, on a day of the company picnic, you can usually be found anchoring the winning team in a tug of war. I'm at home. I don't want to go. No. How important is sex to you, Mr. Oh, Mr. Horse? Wait, horses fuck all the time, don't they? Horses fuck more than rabbits. I guess that makes sense. Uh, how important is sex? <laughs> Why is there an answer every time about, like, being a degenerate and lying about it? What horse is, like, fucking and lying to all their horse friends? I don't understand. I keep up a good front. Uh, it's- it's good. It's great. But like, don't- don't make a fool out of yourself. Don't fucking do, just if it, yeah, don't make a fool out of yourself. What do you got? Oh, I want to have sex. You- just relax. Which of these cars would you prefer? None of them. Where's a Honda Civic? I don't want any of these. Kingdom Hearts. Dun, 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 dun. That's not. What is this? This is Legend of This Breath of the Wild. All right, if I had to pick one of these, it'd be a Tesla. And I know, like, <laughs> he wants a Tesla. I didn't say that. I said if I had to choose, this would be the Tesla. This is what I would fucking pick. I don't want to die on a motorcycle. It's fucking. You get. It's horrible. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that. I don't. I want. I want to be safe. This is too big, and I don't know what that is. Which of these popular writer's books might you choose for a long plane ride? I don't... It's, I don't want to read that. I've already seen the movie. I don't know who these other authors are. <laughs> We're gonna go with Tim. If a book is too heavy to lug around airports and planes, can you pick a magazine instead? Do you have the entire encyclopedia? What do you mean too big? How many books are you carrying? I would probably read, I don't know, like, I would look, I would pick up a Time magazine and just go like this. And then look at the, like, the four cologne ads. And open them and be the guy that opens them and smells them and then puts, closes it. Uh, I, I wouldn't even read any of the, I don't read any of the articles. It's late but you're hungry. What's a good midnight snack? Gross. I, I, ice cream. This is still going. I can't fucking believe it's still going. 
You got two weeks off from work and a lot of frequent flyer miles. Where are you going? Where are Hawaii? If you took up gardening, what would you- what would be most likely? What would you grow? Where's lemons? No, not orchids, not roses. That's- that's- it's too generic. Vegetables. Where's- uh, where's lemons and limes? That's what I want. Where's lemons? Vegetables. That's the closest answer. Your closest friend would most likely describe you as, uh, uniquely interesting. That's a way to say that somebody's scary without making them angry. A whole lot of fun. I'm a Clydesdale! I'm the- I'm the, uh... That's the beer one! That's the one that's in the beer commercials! No, it's not. Is it? Is that the- is that the Anhar- and An An Anhauser Bush? Yeah, it is that- yeah, it's Budweiser. I've been drinking the same White Claw for two hours. This is disgusting now. I've been nursing this for two straight hours. That's gross. You put the work- alright, this- I don't like- this music is like too... Like, ominous. Alright, you put the work in workhorse. No one can stand in your way when you're determined to get something done. You're really equally comfortable working alone or in a team. And when it's the latter, you never sh shirk your share of the duties. We also suspect that people just naturally like you. Especially children. Oh, and you fuck all the time. You have sex in the kitchen, in the laundry room, with like thousands of different people. You are fucking every day. All you do is have sex. In fact, you may even have have had sex 10 minutes ago and 10 minutes after the stream ends. You're a Clydesdale. Thanks for answering our fucked up questions. Fire Emblem. I- this is- I- I'm afraid to do this one. What German 985 emote are you? Hi. Hello. Where's your ideal place to travel to? Japan. Okay. Cool. Somebody I- I must have- somebody right now is going, He fucking actually clicked mine. How would you- people describe you? You made this in 15 minutes. I don't know, chill? What type of day do you prefer? Morning for walks, morning to work, the time when this quiz ends. Hey, because it's exciting. Day because I am safe. Night, it's calm. Night for work. 3 a.m. Night so I can cry. There's so many answers, man. You got you gotta make it simple. Uh a daytime. Uh, this uh, nowadays I like to be uh, like awake during the day. You uh, this song is in Smash Brothers. I was gonna do it. No, fuck it. Too many people here to be embarrassed in front of. Uh, what social media do you often use? None of them. I mean, this one. What do you do in your spare time? Eat, play games, trade stocks, nothing, cry, read, work, other. I mean, I kind of, I kind of, I eat. I don't cry, eat. Lastly, what do you want out of this quiz? You tell me. I hate you. Nothing. There they are! It took me a while before I could see them. Right, I've had enough of that opera. We had our fellow Sonic. Uh, there are 44 foods on this list, and if you eat mayo with more than eight of them, you're disgusting. Okay. French fries, yes. Onion rings, no. Ham sandwich, yes. Tuna salad, yes. How do you have tuna salad without mayo? How's that possible? Yeah, that's- that's- I feel like this is unfair. Chicken tenders. No. Sweet potato fries. Uh, those are disgusting. Well, I, I'm- I'm- I don't like the sweet potato craze. I don't- I think it's gross. I don't- I'm not into it. I'm- I- call me- go ahead. Call me out. I- I don't- I don't like the sweet potato craze of, like, everything has sweet potato in it. Sweet potato fries, sweet potato mash, sweet potato this. No. Just give me regular potatoes. I don't care. 
Uh, I don't need another. Yeah, it depends. No. On a burger? I don't put it on a hot dog. Fish sticks. Because it's tartar sauce. Sushi? Hmm. No, not mozzarella sticks. Not on a bagel. Not on shrimp. Not on eggs. Mac and cheese, grilled cheese, no. Pickles, no. Pizza, no. Chips, no. Steak. Rice, no. Pasta, no. Toast, no. Salad, no. Pretzel, no. Tacos, no. Bacon, no. Potato skins, no. Egg rolls, no. Pizza rolls. Who puts mayo on pizza rolls? Pancakes, no. Graham crackers, no. Bananas, no. All right. My relationship with mayonnaise is normal. <laughs> mayo and soup. Imagine that, like, just imagine the imagery of it just plopping down into the bowl. Just like, <laughs> it would be disgusting. Thanks a lot, BuzzFeed. What playing card are you? You feel more like a joker than the ace of spades? I don't even want to do this one. What suit appeals to you the most? And you put it and you put it under an ad. You have to scroll down and then click this shit under the ad. Look at all this. Look at all of this. This is not even a website. This is an ad generating machine. This may as well just this is just a miner. It's just a it's just a miner. For humans to just just dump CPM. You should get you I I've re, look at. I've reinstalled Windows. So I don't have any like blocking programs. Anyways, uh, my favorite suit is the uh, is the heart. Which of these games are you more likely to play? Texas Hold'em? No, Blackjack. Uh, I'm an extrovert. What would you be most likely to wear to the casino? <laughs> Don't buy that. It's fucking just uh, your, your real iPhone you have now is fine. Okay. Uh, what could, what would be the, what would I gotta wear? Something comfortable and casual. In your opinion, what's the most important thing in life? Having fun and making memories. Having a respected, well-paid career. Being surrounded by loved ones. Being the very best I can be. Getting back up when you've been knocked down. It's gotta be having fun. Making memories. The real answer was money, by the way. Ah, uh, are you a risk taker? Always, always. I take every risk I can. Uh, where would your ideal holiday destination be? Does it count if you live there? Does it count if you live there? All right, Paris. King of Diamonds. What? I, didn't I say my hearts was my favorite suit? Why did it give me diamonds? You're the King of Diamonds, also known as the King of Dices. Determined and authoritative. You use your wisdom and influence to navigate the twists and turns of life. We bet friends have sought you out for advice on more than one occasion. Bit of a rogue. You aren't afraid to take chances in life, either. The King doesn't take any fucking chances. At all. Ever. The king tells other people to take chances, and if they work out, then he, he benefits. And if they don't, then, well, they're dead. King of Diamonds, my ass. I'm the, I'm the Joker. I'm the, I'm the Diamond, I'm the heart, Joker of Hearts. I think it's bullshit that they didn't give the Joker a full suit. That's why they throw him out. They don't even see his full potential. He could be anything. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> oh, this sad-ass music! I don't want any more sad music. Okay. Uh, this never-ending McDonald's menu quiz is harder than it seems. If I don't 100% this, I'm going to be really upset with myself. Okay, what is this? That is a Big Mac. What is this? There's a Chicken McNuggets. There's a McFries. What is this? That's a hamburger. Wait. Yeah, that's a cheeseburger. <laughs> Make breakfast. Why did they not use that? 
That feels like such a better way to say what that is. A McBreakfast. Come on to get the McBreakfast. Why? I wish it was. That's a a sausage Sammy. What is this? Is a McFl Is this just a fucking just basically pull out basic visual knowledge? That's an a McCreamy. That's a McFlurry with M and M's. Is this just can you see or not? McFlurry with Oreo cookies. What's this? That's a quarter pounder with cheese. That's a fillet of fish. That's a ham. That's a ham, egg, and cheese muffin. That's an egg McMuffin. Which is why Essilor pioneers ways to make lenses with three cutting edges. Down here. I don't even know. This is this is on Red Dead. Something Red Dead related. All right. This is a. That's a McDouble. Wait a minute. That's a McDouble. It doesn't have. It, it, McDouble only has one piece of cheese. What's this? Now that's a double cheeseburger. What's that? That's not a McChicken. That's a buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. What's that? That's a sausage McMuffin. That is a sausage McMuffin with an egg. What's that? That's a those are that's a McRiddle. You got a nope. It's a nope. I don't get it. What happened? Your taste in Halloween candy will reveal your greatest fear in life. I'm interested in this one. Pick a sour Halloween candy. Uh, sour patch kids are okay, but you can only have a few before they get gross. Fuzzy peaches, I've never had them. Uh, I think sour watermelon slices would be my favorite. This is hair. Do we need a, do we need a hair appointment here? We're okay. Okay, uh, pick a chocolate candy. Mars bars are amazing. I would say Mars bars. Kit Kats are all right, but Mars bars for sure. Pick a non-sour gummy candy. Uh, gummy bears. Just, dude, just the original Harry Bros. Harry Bros are so much better than Swedish Fish. Swedish Fish just stick to the top. You, you bite into a Swedish Fish and you chew it like three times and it's like just, that's it's your teeth now. Uh, gummy bears. Like a classic candy. Oh, that's gross. This is the kind of shit you find, like, under the desk at school. No. Halloween taffy, no. No. Tootsie Pops. Like a lame Halloween candy. Why are Smarties lame? I mean, Good and Plenty is pretty fucking lame. But Smarties... They're especially good. Why did that? I'm sorry, mods. That's my fault. Um, pick a heart of runts. Ooh, this is tough. This is really hard, actually. I'm gonna pick runts because you can never find them anymore. Runts take the cake because you can find Jolly Ranchers are everywhere, nerds are everywhere, sweet tarts are everywhere, but runts. Only place you can find runts is it's a, it, there's only a quarter of them left in the big fish bowl and it's 50 cents and you get like six year old runs but I like them I wish they would uh, oh, I, I, it's gonna be runs sorry pick a pop culture focused Halloween candy I love free musketeers it's just so fluffy it's the fluffiest candy oh shit Popeye candy sticks I forgot about these I, I, yeah, that's cool. Pick a healthy Halloween candy. If you're giving out skinny pop popcorn on Halloween, you are a Satan worshiper. You hand it out and you're like, okay, kids, see you later. The door closes and you just like start a fucking seance. Probably these. Justin's peanut butter cups. Okay, what's my greatest fear? That's true. Your greatest fear in life is loneliness. 
Nothing scares you more than being completely and utterly alone. You welcome death, but going to a movie you're- Wait, you welcome death? But going to a movie by yourself is probably the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Fuck. Ah. Oh. This has been more accurate than any horoscope I've ever read. This seems kind of weird. I got it right. I can't lie. What am I going to say? If it was not, it's bullshit. It's absolutely accurate. Okay. Stock uh, market uh, quiz. Let's put on some Mario music for this. Why is this on here? I don't know. Somebody just, somebody linked it in the Discord, so I clicked it. Okay, pop quiz. What's your stock IQ? What is the stock market? A casino where you can gamble and win a lot of money. Well, to some people it is. Some people it is. A marketplace where you can buy and sell shares of companies. That's the correct answer. A place where farm animals are bought and sold. A place that's only for rich people to get richer. Well... Well... Two of those could be pretty accurate. Uh, what's a fractional share? Uh, the amount an entire company is worth in dollars. No. Piece of a whole share which offers entry to the stock market at affordable price. It's that one. Uh, a class is, yeah, the class, I already got you the right answer. Fractional shares, you can buy a, a quarter or a third or as much as you're comfortable. Uh, you, you don't have to buy the whole share. What is a bull market? A sign that the stock market is closed. No. Market in which prices are going down. That's a bear market, sorry. A uh, market full of super aggressive traders. True. <laughs> Resident sleepers. All right, we don't need, okay. Bull markets when the markets are fucking increasing, the stock prices are going up. IPO is a, is a, is a, when a company puts itself on the stock market for the first time. It's a, it's a public offering, initial public offering. Coca-Cola is the best performing stock at all time. No, it's Berkshire Hathaway. What does S&P stand for? Standards and Poor's. What type of investment is the safest? Uh, a well diversified portfolio. True or false? I should invest in something I've never heard of because my friend told me to. You, I'd be stupid. What's a dividend? A dividend is when you get your payout for owning stock at your share, it's whatever the, it's an earnings per share. What's diversification is when you own pretty, when you own a lot of shares uh, of different companies and you spread it all around. Why did I do this? Oh, this is the one that I wanted to do. What stock should you buy based on a personality quiz? Okay, here we go. Do you tend to play it safe? No. There's 30 questions! You're gonna drop viewers. It's, it's been two minutes! Okay, how much do you know about the stock market? I know a lot. How much do money do you make? Uh, ding ding! Uh, how much are you willing to invest? <laughs> ding ding! Is the stock market something you want to invest in for the long term? Nah, fuck it! Just give me something quick and risky. How much money should you would you like to make through the stock market? That's a ring ding. Uh, where do you check your email? I don't use my email. Are you trendy? No. Uh, do you like to travel? No, I'd rather stay home. Would you like to invest in banks? No. How much of your income would you like to have in stocks? Eh, maybe a little. Are you scared to invest in the stock market? Not really. Would you like to educate yourself on the stock market? No. Uh, do you eat a lot of junk food? Yeah. Uh, do you want to? Do, do you want to relate to the stock you're investing in? I don't fucking care. Is it gonna make me money? Who gives a shit? How important is it to have known name stock investment? I read that again. How important is it to have a known name stock investment? I mean, I guess it's kind of important if you need to know what the fuck you're investing in. Who will manage your stocks? I will. Are people you know invested in the stock market? Uh, sometimes. Why are you investing in the stock market? Because someone told I smart. Which would you prefer? High risk. How often do you check on stocks? Uh, every single day. Are you spontaneous? Of course I am. How many shares are you willing to buy? A ton. Do you save a lot of money? Yeah, yeah. How much are you willing to lose? A lot. Are you going to invest alone? What? Well, we're gonna go into like a carpool of sharing? Shares? No. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna invest. No, of course I'm gonna invest alone. How good are you at budgeting? Not very good. How important is the integrity of the company you want to invest in? Did I make uh, 30%? Ooh, uh, it's kind of important. Do your magic ability to- hold on! What season do you plan on investing? All of them! You should invest in Capital One! No, you shouldn't! Why would you do that? I don't want to invest in a bank! Actually real, what? 
Look at coward. What? Hold on. Yeah, you took a screenshot of my face. So what? No, I don't want to invest in Capital One. Wait, there's only a few. They're all banks. JP Morgan Chase, Capital One, Bank of America. What's going on with my face? Why is, it, why is the camera so fucked up? What's going on here? Why is it going like What's with the refresh rates fucked up? Why is it doing this? Put that out. Why is it doing that? It's because I'm a hologram. <laughs> Just turn myself green and start talking Star Wars stuff. Hey, speaking of Star Wars. Why is it fucking doing this? How do I fix this? How do I do this? What's going on? Refresh rate is at 60 hertz. What the fuck are you doing, man? Punch your camera. Turn on your lights. It's lights? Oh, I got it. It's gone. But now I'm all like wiggly. This camera sucks. I got it. We're good, right? No more uh, scan lines, right? No, we're good. Okay, uh, I don't want. I'm not gonna invest in Capital One. This is. I feel like somebody made this. Somebody made this because they own like a bunch of shares in all these banks, and they're like, maybe I can get these fucking people to buy this shit. That what's going on over there? Okay, choose your weapon. It's a, ooh, I don't know. It's either gonna be electricity or it's gonna be the lightsaber. It's lightsaber, obviously. What kind of childhood did you have? Oh, this is a long one. Fucking god. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Can I just say, uh, I'm General Grievous. All right, that's the guy. I sorry, I most relate to. Next. Time for do who? What Marvel character? We we know which Marvel character matches your personality. Oh, show the image, I forgot. This is a Reddit quiz. <laughs> that's like, that's like your annoyed cat. I mean, wrong one. That's a wrong image? <laughs> Holy shit, man. This is this is gross. <laughs> what the fuck, dude, this is not real. This is not real. I refuse to believe that this is a real picture. <laughs> no, it isn't. And I mean it this time. That's not a real picture. It's not. I know it isn't. <laughs> it's like you open up the door that's like the face that you make this is like how you feel and how you look uh, when the raid ain't going so well it's been 12 hours and you're still at the first pull it's like dude can I please go eat can I do something else say look at me it's not even accurate Holy shit, that's so fucked up. Okay, which Marvel character am I? Captain America! 
Okay, the Marvel superhero teams are, where's the music? Fuck you. Oh, Undertale. Oh, Undertale. All right, can I say, I'm gonna say this, and I, 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 it's, I think it's accurate. The Undertale soundtrack could be one of the best, one of the top probably three soundtracks in any video game. Probably like top five, at least somewhere in the top three. It just is. Whether, okay, whether you like this game or you're like, I don't like that, I don't like them, the fan base, I don't like them, whatever. The, this, these songs are objectively like fucking banging. Minecraft and Undertale, those, yeah, you're right, those are pretty high. Like, okay, if, 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 you, if I had you just like in a room and you had like a blindfold on and you had like, e like a thing covering your ears and like you didn't, you, uh, you didn't know what this was. If I was like, all right, take it off, take the head, uh, take the headphones off, take the uh, uh, eye shield off. And you heard this, and I was like, what do you think? You'd be like, right, I like it. It's good. This is good. And then I'd say, hey, you know what that's from, right? No, what is it from? Super Mario 2? No. Is it from Earthbound? No. Where's it from then? It's from Undertale. <laughs> I... No, it isn't. It's not. It can't be. I can't be. I can't like it. I just can add in the middle of that song. All right, let's go with this. Okay, the, the Marvel superhero teams are all drafting a new members. Which one do you want to be a part of? Nobody wants to be on the Fantastic Four. No, because there's only four of you. And if there's a job that has to be done, one of those four people has to do it. That would suck. I want to be on the X-Men because there's like 40 of us. And if somebody has to go do something, hey, we got, uh, we need like three magic users and a, a guy with a big fist and a uh, crystal uh, explosives. It's like, okay, that could be like eight different people. I can stay home. Oh, uh, okay, like uh, Gambit. And Cyclops and Beast, you guys, you got that, right? I can stay here and just play fucking Fortnite. Okay, go for it, man. Like, hey, I'll do, I'll get the next one like tomorrow. If you're in the Fantastic Four, you got to do shit every day. Nope, X Men. You can't like lounge on the couch if you're Mister Fantastic. You can't like put that on somebody else. What motivates you? This is fucking two and a half hours old. I'm gonna need another one. Do I even have, did I buy two? I didn't. Uh, I, I suppose I wanna have friends and shit. All right, tonight's the night. You're going on your third date with the most perfect person in the world. What did I tell you? All the viewers here, this is, I told you. What makes, oh, what makes them attractive to you? Oh. Hold on. Let's get back over here. Uh, what's it, what makes them attractive? They're sarcastic and witty. They have a strong moral compass. They've got a wicked charm. They're super smart. They're really rich. They're super ripped. They can keep a secret. They just have this dark intensity to them. When it comes to relationship, would you ever date another superhero? Yes, absolutely. I need someone who understands my lifestyle. No way, it's too dangerous. I'm not really interested. I feel like I feel like the answer is probably yeah. Because like if I levitate the like the pizza rolls across the living room, they're not gonna be freaked out by that. They're gonna be like, oh okay, you're a dick. But if I do that in front of someone that doesn't have powers, they're gonna be like, you couldn't, you couldn't just get up? No, I couldn't just get up. Why couldn't you just get up? Look, I've got fucking superpowers. I don't have to get up. You, you, you would never understand. Okay, if you had it your way, you, uh, I could have it my way or Burger King. 
but I wouldn't want to go. I wouldn't want to have it my way there. I'd want to go to McDonald's. I'd want to go through the drive-thru and just drive through it and go to the McDonald's next door. Uh, what was your, what would your last meal be? Last meal candy. No. It'd be something like... It was like a it was like a steak dinner or something. Fast food. You suspect someone close to you has betrayed you. What do you do? Trick them into confessing. Please give me Loki. Please give me Loki. Please give me Loki. Please, I'm gonna do everything that Loki would do so I get Loki and then I can share it. Uh, hold on. Trick them. Uh, give them the benefit of the doubt. Kill them before they do any damage. Destroy them, of course. Aren't these the same? Confront them about this terrible rumor. Find a way to use this to my advantage. I'll just have a few words with them over drinks. Doctor Doom has stolen the powers of the Silver Surfer and taken over the world. How will you stop him? I mean, motherfucker, I'm on the X-Men. Call somebody else. <laughs> I'll stand. Oh, yeah, I'll get up. Yeah. Oh, you already got up? Hey. Oh, Jubilee already got up. All right. Yeah. No, go for it. <laughs> I have one that don't know is I don't have any fucking powers. I lied on my application. Okay. It's Dr. Doom stole the powers of the Sil- Too much Sonic the Hedgehog. No, no Halo. No, no, Battlefield 1, no. Come on, something good. Killzone 3, no. Mario Odyssey. Oh my goodness, this is the one I want. Okay, so Doctor Doom stole the powers of the Silver Surfer and taken over the world, how will you stop him? Since Doctor Doom is bound by honor, I tried to reason with him, and if he didn't work, I'd freeze force. I'd fight him, I'm smarter than him. My ego demands it. Well, that depends. It's the person I love in danger. I'll always try to do the right thing. You know that means getting my butt handed to me. I'd join the Fantastic Four and work as a team. The situation's bigger than me. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. We just uh, we just discussed this. I would try to reason with Doctor Doom first. Oh, you just got caught driving too fast, and now you got a speeding ticket. What do you do? I'd say thank you, officer, and pay the fine. Please, the police officer would be putty in my hands. I could talk them out of anything. I'd rip the ticket up, flip off the cop, and be on my merry way. I'd try to make the cop laugh and get out of the ticket, but if that didn't work, I'd accept it and move on. I would, I would talk, I would, oh, the, please. What's your favorite part about being a superhero? Having the... Coolest toys. Meeting other people like me, I always thought I was alone. These are my powers to help others who can't help themselves. I kind of, I kind of like the mystery aspect of I better not get Superman, that's boring. Uh, one of your co-workers is always putting you down. What do you do about it? Okay, is the co-worker also a superhero? Or is it just... It's like I'm working in the office. For, is it just is it a superhero? Are we also on? Is it an X-Men? Is it an X character? I'd pull the person aside and talk to them privately, find out what's really going on. You know, I can only take so much before I explode. I'll just walk away. I've got bigger fish to fry. I just write back to them and make them cry. 
I'd take whatever they say as a compliment and defuse the situation. I'd turn their insult into a joke. And then we would all laugh at them. Nick Fury has asked you to represent S.H.I.E.L.D. and go out to dinner with a very important <laughs> client. That turned in a different way. Oh, Nick Fury has asked you to represent S.H.I.E.L.D. and go on a very important mission. Go out to di Actually, this is perfect for me. <laughs> me? Can I do that one? The only catch, the breath is atrocious. Ah, oh, can I be the guy that goes out to the dinner? And it's fine, I don't have to get in harm's way. Okay, their breath is terrible. I'd ignore their breath and pay for the meal. I'd cancel the dinner and order takeout. I can't stand annoying, smelly people. I'd politely offer a mint and say, this is a rare candy from another dimension that must be enjoyed. It might be that one. Because then you can laugh. You can laugh about that. You give them the mint and you both go like, it's an Altoid. <laughs> and you're in and everything's fine. And like, they're good. That would work. I'd end the meal quickly and say, sorry, but Nick Fury needs me to save the world. No, it would be this one. You have a big day planned at work, but wake up with a cold. What do you do? Hmm. Roll back up in bed and get some rest. There's no way I'm going to work today. Suck it up and go to work. No. Call my boss and let them know I'm sick, that I can work remotely. I'm going back to bed. What's your relationship to large family gatherings like holidays and family reunions? I, I, I think they're great. I like them. I like going to family. Pick one thing from a fairy tale to have with you in everyday life. What is it? Why would you carry on a poison apple? A genie that grants three wishes, a magical singing voice, a ton of woodland friends, a poison apple. Okay, this is the only one that cannot be obtained normally. You can make a shitload of woodland friends. You can have a bunch of, you go to the woods and make like friends with the squirrels and shit. Just bring like seeds and nuts with you. They'll all like you. You can train to be a singer and you can just put poison in an apple. Like this is the only one you cannot get normally. I'm getting three wishes. Oh, it's Far Cry, the game that I'm, I lied about. Skip it. Okay, we're at, uh, it's time to get deep. At least when it comes to exploration. That's right, we're making you pick. Deep sea or deep space, where would you rather explore? Deep sea, man. The deep, deep space is just... I feel like it's a bunch of nothing. It's just a bunch of, like, colors and little lights and shit, and that's cool. But there's creatures we haven't even seen before in the deep sea. It would be so interesting to be under there and just, like, lie on the ground and look at all, like, the sharks and stuff and all, like, the weird deep sea animals. Deep space is too much. It's too much to do. I w it would freak me out. I'd be like, oh, cool, deep space. I guess it's gonna take me like 30 years to go from here to there. Even if I fly with my superpowers, it's like six million light years away where I could just go like two miles deep and see a weird fish. That one. We promise this question won't make you evaporate when we snap our fingers. Thanks for the fucking spoiler, Buzzfeed. Magic quiz. Uh, pick an infinity stone. Time. I have time. It's time. How would you rate your relative cleanliness? I can do this again and again and again forever. Why is that minus two? Time stone's the best stone. You can do whatever you want. You can fucking manipulate anything. I could go back in time and like gain a thousand pounds just for fun. And then go back and fucking do it again. And get skinny. I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I could go back in time and I could like... I could go forward in time and see what happens. And then go back and then fix it. And then go forward again and then get stuck. How would you rate your relative cleanliness? There's a few, there's a little bit of clutter. Okay, Avenger. Didn't pick that, by the way. Why are you just making me an Avenger? I, didn't, I said X-Men, motherfucker. If you weren't a superhero, what would your job be?
teacher, first responder, a spy, a truck. It would be a truck driver. Uh, I just want something that I could just I would just drive on the road and it would just be me in the road. Uh, which animal is your soulmate? What animal do you feel like you most relate to? Dolphin, dog, rhinoceros, monkey, grizzly bear, hawk. Where's the Clydesdale? <laughs> I, I, lo I love birds, I do. Birds are like one of my favorite animals. I love crows, I love ravens, I like hawks, I think they're really, really interesting. Falcons and stuff. Uh, rhinoceros is crazy though. Hawk. How would you describe the art in your home? Uh, I have a paint. I have one picture of Super Mario doing growing in, in, in intensity. Pop art. Does any part of being the president sound appealing to you? No. No. All these things suck, but what's the worst thing that could happen to you on a date? You're not physically attracted to them. All they do is talk about themselves. They complain a lot. They have no manners. They're boring and can't hold a conversation. One of us forgets their wallet. They're into astrology. That's probably this one, because that's just fucking awkward, because then it makes the other person have to pay for the meal. And then it's like, oh, shit. Well, it looks like it's gonna be you. Pick one of these foods. Congratulations, you're now eating only this food for the rest of your life. Hope you choose wisely. But what did you choose? All right, for the rest of my life. Let's break this down. Steak is just protein, it's just meat. Not enough. I couldn't do it. Grilled cheese is just dairy. That's just like filling and heavy, no. Pizza, could work. Tomato sauce is just technically tomato. Cheese, you get the bread, you get a protein with the cheese, maybe. Sushi. I don't know if I want to eat sushi every day, though. I feel like it really, it would, I, I'd probably get sick if I ate it too much. That's like, that could be like, it could be green onions. Uh, Thanksgiving turkey. Does that include the rest of the fixins, though? Is that Thanksgiving turkey and the mayo, the cranberry sauce, the mashed potatoes, the gravy? Is it Thanksgiving dinner? Or is it just Thanksgiving turkey? It's just turkey, okay. Pasta? No, I, you'd, you'd puke. Okay, sandwiches is, is the is the answer here. A sandwich could be anything. You could have a turkey sandwich. You could have a ham sandwich. You could have, just put anything between two pieces of bread and you call it a sandwich. You could put celery and onions in between bread and it's a sandwich. It could be anything. You could get all your food groups that way. That'd be easy. What social faux pas really grates your gears the most? What sends you into a blind rage for no reason? Okay, I've done this. I've done this. I don't know about that. I've done this. I've done this. N not that one. People feel the need to play devil's advocate in every situation. I'll be phone addict, man. I'll be phone addict. I mean, come on, put your phone down. Like, we're out doing something together. We're having a good time. Put, your, put the phone down. Put down the phone. I get to be Iron Man. I get to be Iron Man! You are not afraid to just go for it, whatever it may be. Yes, you're arrogant, but no, I'm not. But that's only because you've accomplished so many things in life. If life gives you lemons, you'll find a way to revolutionize the entire lemon industry before breakfast. Insanely competitive, you're married to your job. And if you did happen to get married to an actual person, we're willing to bet they'd have something to do with your job. You can be a prick. But you're willing to sacrifice everything to help other people, and that's not insignificant. Share your results with your friends. But I'm not a billionaire, though. It's funny because I started playing GTA today. Sure, muscle milk helps build muscles. I don't know if that's even accurate. What that person just said. Okay, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Iron Man. I'm I'm okay with it. Robo, robo prick. Oh wait, this is another one. This is the same quiz. And I just like reduced in brightness. Okay, ah, uh, let's do this one quick. Which trait do you find, do, what do you most value in people you admire? Let's see if I can get um, Tony Stark again. Oh, okay, uh, create creativity. Next question. 
Okay, choose your happy place. You find Zen. Uh, at home, I do. Choose your solution. When problems arise, how do you battle them? It's with humor. Choose your event. What's your favorite sporting event? Baseball. It's not even on here. Wrestling. Who's your potential? You you perform at your best when you feel unpowerful, innovative. Who's your beast? If you could shape shift into any animal, what could you shape shift into? This is just the same exact quiz. Eagle. Who's your quality? What describes you best? Who's your jam? What type of music do you like? Who's your power? What's your greatest strength? My dedication, my spirit, my judgment, my ambition, my physique. My spirit. My dedication. My ideas. Who's your lair? Where would you like to be? Secret lair, city apartment, mansion, skyscraper, anywhere but here. Secret location. I don't even know where. I don't know where. I don't, what do you, well, uh, Batman. Tony Stark. Did you guys crash this fucking website too? Okay, it was Tony Stark. Jesus fucking ads. Your children of what Metal Gear Solid character are you? Your children are being unruly. To get them to behave, do you? <laughs> Burn their eggs. <laughs> am I am, am I like a moth? What an- are we like a, a, a an animal? Hide in a locker. This quiz sucks. Okay, I would... Your children are being unruly. Inspire obedience through a rousing speech about children without a nation. This is just- each one of these is a character. Alright, I'm gonna endure it because they're my kids. <laughs> Burn their eggs. If you were in command of a group of soldiers, what tactics would you use to defeat your enemy? Burn their eggs! Uh, train my men hard by having them live on an abandoned ocean platform. Hey, that's Snake, by the way. That's Snake's dad. Just big Snake. Big Snake Senior. What's his name? Take over a nuclear decommissioning facility and capture warheads. Uh, leave the group behind you, Virgo. Just burn their eggs. What's your favorite guilty pleasure? It's talking to myself in the mirror. How is your relationship with your friends? Ah, uh, my friends often end up. Okay, I need more. I need something else. Your most life-changing sleep is about what's underneath. This is a Casper mattress. They're all the same mattress. There's like six of them that are the same fucking foam, latex foam mattress. There's like seven of them. They're all good, okay? All of them are good. There's like purple, there's Casper, there's like a, a, a Lisper, whatever it is. There's like four of them. They're all good. They're all fine. Whatever one you get, just add one. Just get one if you want one. If you have a, want a better sleep, sure, buy one of them. All right, here's the next one. Okay. All right, we're getting, we're getting an encore, a double. Oh, yeah. Whoop. Okay, my friends, I burned my friend's eggs. What's your favorite animal? Eggs. A chicken. It's a bird. What did I get? Wait, this is... Is this a meme from Metal Gear? You are not good at cooking eggs. Also, Google image search if you turns of terrible things. <laughs>
What Ninja Turtle character are you? Okay. <laughs> I, I know which one I am already. Let's just go with this. The best part about these quizzes, especially ones on some of these like kids' websites, is a, some kid will watch Ninja Turtles. And they'll be so happy to be able to take a quiz to see who they are. And it, it, it might, maybe they'll get their favorite character, which is Michelangelo. So these quizzes just give the kid every, oh, whatever Michelangelo would do, they click on it. And they just get to be Michelangelo. It's genius. So let's, I'm Michelangelo. Let's get it. Okay, what do you do to prepare for a mission? <sighs> man, I'd relax and grab something to eat, man. Pick a hobby. Ugh, I don't know. I don't have any hobbies, dude. Which of these enemies are you worried about? Uh, probably, uh, I don't know. The hip hypnopotamus sounds crazy, dude. Pick a quote. That was easy. Uh, oh my gosh. I've always liked cowabunga. Dude, you have to make it to rehearsal. That's a Donnie thing to say. Donnie. That was easy. That's Raphael. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Cowabunga. That's Michelangelo. Pick a pizza topping. Anything, man. How are you feeling today? Okay. I, I where I'm a boy. How old are you? Uh, I'm older than 16, man. I'm not under six. How are you feeling today? This is just data. Okay, wait, the quiz. Which one of your family members do you find the most annoying? Okay, who does Michelangelo find the most annoying? Leonardo, right? Because he has all the rules. Leonardo. You could type a turtle. Uh. Um. A. No, man. What weapon are you going to use? Totally using the nunchucks, man. How do you describe your personality? <laughs> ah, I'm a little weird, man. Someone tells you the hideout is under attack. What do you do? Someone else will do it. <laughs> I'm an Avenger. Oh, no way! Go like a Langelo! What Fortnite skin are you? How many more of these are left? Okay, thank God there's not very many. Okay, you're playing Battle Royale squad mode and you're flying over the map in the bus. Do you leap out because I have no fear? Just wait a little longer, there's no rush. Stay in the battle bus as I have snacks. Is Michelangelo? You go out to buy a new jumper. What, what color code do you favor? Blue. What's your favorite holiday of the year? Summer. What's your favorite film genre? Comedy. What type of music are you most likely to listen to? Depends. Uh, probably like pop. Don't data mind me. You're playing Fortnite and your teammate comes under attack. What do you do about that? Do everything you can to help your teammate. Get into a flap. I'm too old to know what that is. Um, distract your enemies by pretending to be a big jelly baby. Okay, that sounds funny, I guess. Which pet would you like to have the most? A crow. Oh, yeah. What would you most like to eat? I have no time to eat on the battlefield, but I might have some crisps. English. This test is English. Slice of cake, vegetable fingers, and some baked beans. Burger. Which item of clothing do you prefer to wear? Uh, I don't know, hats? You're trapped on a desert island. What one item do you take with you? An inflatable house. Oh, I get to be Ripley! We're not sure why, but when we see this Fortnite skin, we want a bowl of jelly. I actually probably would pick that. Next. Your answer to these would you rather questions will reveal what you were in your past life. Pretty good, uh... What's this one? What's a Halo 2? Diablo? Which, what Diablo though? That's a big, that's important. Okay, I'll stay on this. All right, for your birthday, would you rather have received cash or gifts? Money. 
Would you rather live at the top of a big city apartment building or at the top of a mountain? This is so basic and simple. It's just like, it's like you were a uh, big city millionaire uh, in a city. Would you rather end hunger or hatred? Oh shit, this is hard. Probably. Hunger. Would you rather be poor or and work at a job you love, or rich and work at a job you hate? Oh, I don't. Poor and work at a job you don't love, but work at a job you like. Would you rather be on a survival reality show or a dating game show? This one I could make funny. I would. I would get. Okay, hear me out. Survival reality show is hard and difficult, and I have to like go crawl through like mud and shit, and like limbo under like electrical wires and and eat bugs and stuff. No, this one dating game show I can be like a viral video meme for a few weeks. I could I could like do something weird and be like the weird person that they say no, not you, you don't get the rose, and I would like do a weird like dance or something. I get viral for a week, and that would that doesn't take very much. Would you rather eat pizza or ice cream? Is the only food for eternity about pizza. Would you rather be locked in an amusement park or a library? A library, because there's endless fun here. You have to ride the swing ride every day. You could find something new every day if you wanted to. You have to ride the same roller coaster every day. Library. Would you rather be gossiped about or never talked about at all? I really don't care either way. I, I'd rather... That's, that's fine. I was a musician in my past life. You're calm and laid back. You love music and how it impacts the people around you. I don't. You typically voice out your opinions or send messages through a song. <laughs> kind of like our new follower. U Uber Muffin. Thank you for the follow. We really appreciate I won't do it. I definitely was not a musician in my past life. I was a frog. What do... <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to get exhaustion from these quizzes. What's your baby naming personality? We only have like four more. I, no, this is a good time to go pee. It's been, I'm gonna pee and go get another one of these. I'll be right back. Oh, I have to do Chubby Bunny today too. Just stay tuned. That just scared the shit out of me. This is scary music. Okay. I'll be back. Just gonna go pee, and then get another uh, drink that is not to be named because it has a name. It's people, it's like Voldemort. Okay, I'll see you in a minute.
Dude, did I even, um, did I even tweet this stream out? So, whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna make a noise right now. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's, it's, it's the Ludwig theme! Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was. I didn't look over. From, uh, Bloodborne. <laughs> a 10k Andy, get the fuck out of here. Come on. Take the BDSM test. No, thank you. I don't think I'm gonna do that on camera. No, thanks. We got we got Ludwig subs here. Ludwig's a good dude. All right, let's go. Do it or no balls. Why? I'm not gonna take like a what kind of sexual things? Uh, no. No. And there's the reveal: the Phantom of the fucking Opera. You see how ugly he is with the light on. Okay, what what kind of baby am I gonna have? What is it? Fucking Dracula. Okay, choosing a name for your baby can feel like an overwhelming responsibility. It's likely to be a reflection of your lifestyle. We got Family Feud coming up soon here, guys. You realize that? We've got Hive Mind that we're gonna play. You guys have no idea how fucking cool this game is. We're stalling until we get to Hive Mind and Chubby Bunny. Alright, oh, uh, okay, what's your baby naming personality? Take the quiz and find out, then get ideas for baby names. What type of films do you like to watch? My kid's name is Greg. Next. Uh, anything with a good review, whatever the hottest new release is. Um, I don't know, things that are reviewed well? Free baby, your dream holiday was... Lazing on a beach or... Beside the hotel pool. Definitely not backpacking. Definitely not road trip. Definitely lazing around on the beach. Greg is a good boy. Would what would your dream date involve? No clubs. I can't talk to you. I want to be able to talk to you. A moonlight stroll and dancing under the stars. That's too memey. Hot air balloon. Let's go. No, that's too adventurous. No, it'd be dinner. But it could be both. It could be both. Which maternity outfit best appeals to you? What do you mean? Like, when, if I see somebody wearing maternity clothes? Uh, okay. The sundress I made from myself from organic cotton. I made this dress for this person? Um, I don't know, something comfortable. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. This. I thought that was Baby Shark for a second. No. No, I don't play Rocket League. Uh, this is just. This is just a regular. This is just a song. It's, I mean, I don't want the VOD's gonna get nuked. Uh. There we go. Luigi's Mansion. That's good. All right, let's go. Uh, what's your favorite pregnancy relaxation activity? Oh, I get it. I get it. This is, uh, if I was pregnant. Okay. Uh. Spa day. Your favorite cure for morning sickness is... Hypnotism? I don't know. What type of nappies do you plan to use? Like, I'm taking a- is that like a cute way to say nappy? Like, I'm taking a nap? Disposable nappies. No, this is diapers? This is English to spread another English test. What's, what's with all the English tests? Okay, it would be, uh, eco-friendly disposable nappies. Where will your baby sleep? In a sturdy- okay. I thought it said in a sturdy safe. Uh, in a sturdy, safe, classic design, sure. When your baby arrives, how will you transport them? 
pram in my arms like celebrities do. In the same pram my- in the same- in the same pram me mum used for me. You're finally at 40 weeks, but your baby doesn't seem to be in a hurry to come out. What do you do? Eat spicy food. Ha send vibes to my baby that it's alright to come out. Sure, because what else are you gonna do? Congratulations, you've completed the quiz. Now look back at your answers. Oh, fucking come on. You don't even have like an algorithm. A, A, three A's, four A's, five A's, it's A. Your baby naming person- <laughs> Fuck this quiz. Pretend to be a toddler for a day and will reveal your nostalgic cartoon personality <laughs> twin. Okay. It's time to wake up as a toddler. What time do you rise and shine? Okay. Where's that was weird? Ah, uh, 7.30 or later. I'm a late riser. What's for breakfast? Ooh! No chocolate chip pancakes. Fruit Loops. Maybe. Toast. No. Smoothie. It's Fruit Loops. It's Fruit Loops. What show are you going to watch? Sesame Street. Done. What toy will you play with? Toy cars. What's for lunch? Macaroni and cheese. Definitely. Choose an outdoor activity. Swinging. Sandbox. Too dirty. Too uh, too gritty. And I don't like it. Cringy. Um, slide. Jumping. Probably slide or jumping. Swinging actually scares the shit out of me. Anytime that I see a kid like swinging on a swing and they go up really high, I'm like, I, I have a panic attack every time they dig it at the apex. They go like, ah, uh, don't go, don't fall. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, don't, don't get hurt. I don't like swings. I don't like them. Jumping. Choose a snack. Oh, it's ground up hooves. Uh, popsicle probably, gum it, popsicles. Definitely. What's for dinner? Chicken. It's bath time to choose a bath toy. Mm. It's probably fishies. What time do you go to sleep? Probably around eight. I get to, I'm Arthur. Your smart, loyal, and self-proclaimed nerd. A baby, a, okay. A toddler cannot be a smart, loyal, self-proclaimed nerd. You love playing video games and watching superheroes. Like, a toddler doesn't have a Twitter account that says that in their bio. Okay? You love playing video games and watching superhero shows in your free time. You would never let anyone hurt your friends and family. I'm two. What am I gonna do? <laughs> You'd never let anyone hurt your friends and family. You would... Yeah, they're like this. I, when, okay, when you're like less than three years old, you're essentially a bag of sand. What am I gonna do if somebody's like fighting my friend? Dr. Phil's personality test. Now, 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 hold on a second. You're gonna take my personality test. And you're gonna sit down and you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. Sit down. Now, what time of the day do you feel your best? Is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? Or into the early evening? Or is it late at night? Phil, I don't want to be on your show. When do you feel your best? I feel Dr. Phil. Hey, can I call you doctor? Can't. I'll call you Phil. Uh, Phil, I, I'm somewhere into the early, early afternoon and early evening. Usually walk- do that again. I love, he's got a fucking awesome theme song, though. This does. Everybody wait a second. Okay. This is a perfect opportunity for this. There's a show on Netflix. And it's called the American Bible Study Show. 
It stars Jeff Foxworthy. And it's about like you 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 get on the show and you've come with a family and you do a trivia for the Bible and, 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 and Christianity and stuff, right? Whatever. That's not important at all. The theme song to this show is fucking insane. We have to listen to it because I cannot comprehend why this theme song is the way that it is. It's time to play it. American Bible Study theme song. Are you ready? No, what's not what's it called? American Bible Showdown? Do they even have this? What's it called? American what? American Bible Challenge. There it is. You're not gonna believe this shit. American Bible Challenge. Dude, nobody has the theme song. Is it intro or something? It's um it's crazy. American Bible Challenge intro. It's Jeff Foxworthy. Okay, I think we, this, is this a whole episode? To the competition. Watch out. Him, I'm, uh, as well. We can bring some youthful energy. Fuck, I need this. Does anybody, can, can anybody find this theme song? Open Netflix. I don't have Netflix on my computer. It's a fake show. No, it's, no, it's not. You got it? American Bible Challenge song. No, this is not it. You got it? Somebody got it. Use the browser. I have no idea what my Netflix password is. I have no clue what my Netflix password is. Shit, I need you guys to hear this. No, stop. You're gonna stop looking like slaps and shit. I gotta find a way to do this. Please, some, I need to show this. No, not, not, no, not National Bible Quiz for Seniors. No. You got it? No. This one, this one, this one, somebody's gonna find it. I just need the intro. Godzilla <laughs> fart. I just need the intro to the show, American Bible Challenge. You're killing me. How is this not here? From your own video. No, 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 no. Please, somebody, please, I can't spend all day on this. Is this it? Is this it? Four. Now, three teams are thing I look for either. People are. It's not it. It's not it. It's it's the theme song to the show. You got it? This it? This is it. All right, everybody calm down. Everybody relax. Are you ready for this crazy ass theme song? Please play. Sorry, an unexpected error occurred. Give me a fucking break. Why? What? American Bible Challenge. Come on. Sorry, an unexpected error occurred. Jeremy, 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 I swear to God, this better be real. I gotta move on. It's a broken link. Oh, this is, I, this is so important too. This shit was so important. I gotta move on. I'll find a way to- I'll find a way. I'll find a way, I promise. I'll find. Don't fucking move. I'm gonna go record it on my iPhone. It's here, but I- why can't I play it? That's because I have a VPN on? I'm so fucking mad right now. Why can you not use daily motion with a VPN? Why? The one day I turn on my fucking VPN. This 
Is it? Wait, is, is this a, is this real? I gotta mute the fucking audio because this could be like a screamer. Hold on. <laughs> yes, you got it. Okay, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to listen to the intro to American Bible Challenge. Are you ready? This is the American Bible Challenge. How fucking terrible was that? Everybody put your hands up. Everybody just stand up. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody just stand up. Everybody, everybody put your hands up. Everybody just stand up. What does this have to do with God? And it's Jeff Foxworthy singing the song. It has to be, right? That's Jeff Foxworthy. This is the American Bible Challenge. That's like the safest song I've ever heard in my life. That's definitely Jeff Foxworthy singing that, by the way. I think it might be like a joke. He might be, it might be like a big joke. He's like a comedian. It's in one of your videos? <laughs> Wait, is it really? That, yeah, somebody said it. That sounds royalty free. Everybody just stand up. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody just stand up. Everybody put your hands up. You, that's the first part of a chorus. Like, everybody stand up and wave your arms around. Everybody just put your hands up, right? It's not, you, you, you're doing the first part of a chorus. It actually is in the video. Retail media by Critio. It's in Are You Smarter Than God? It's actually in one of my videos? By appearing on the world's top it's the intro to this sites. video. This guy's scary. I wouldn't want this guy on this set. Yellow. Where is it? How you doing? Give everybody put your hands up. Give everybody put your hands up. Come on, now stand up. Give <laughs> <laughs> ah, I just spit all over you. <laughs> I didn't even I did not look, I did not know this is an intro. I didn't see this one. Hold on a minute. You should be scared every time. Oh, forget about this. Skip every this. Every single time that you are outside those walls. This guy's scary. I wouldn't want this. Challenge. Here it comes. Oh, I, I'm going to keep this golf guy. I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and this is the American Bible Challenge. Let's do options first. I fucking game. can't even do it anymore, guys. Anyways, yes, it, it's, it's like the first part of a chorus, and they just say it like six times, and then the show starts. I've seen like eight episodes of the show. Everybody just stand up. Okay, all right, put your hands up. Okay, everybody just stand up. Uh, Jeff, I already am. Put your hands up. Jeff, they're up. Just stand up. I'm standing, and my hands are up. What should I, what should I do now? Should I praise God? No, just stand up. <laughs> I can't. It's fucking crazy. It, I love it, though. It's like my favorite theme song. Anyways, Dr. Phil's, uh, I almost said, I almost said Dr. Phil's community subs. Like, he gave a shitload. All right. You guys stand up. Put your hands up yet. Okay. You usually walk. Fairly fast. I need some music. Let me get some music on for this. It's the American Bible Not Challenge. this, but... Just had to hear it again to make sure it was real. Okay. 
Uh, we had an OST going. I lost it because so many links. Here we go. Okay, OST. We're going back to Mega Man. No, Dead by Daylight. Spoiler, I never played it. Oh, Doctor Doom's Battle. No. Mario Galaxy 2! This is way too fucking loud, I'm sorry. Okay. Here we go. You usually walk fast and we got, oh, by the way, Black Cherry. We're gonna try this one. DMCA? What? If I get DMCA claimed for everybody put your hands up, everybody stand up. That would be, be pretty weird, right? If I, <laughs> that would be strange. Okay, I gotta do this test. You usually walk fairly fast with small steps. Less fast head down. Isn't there a meme about this? Uh, no, there's a meme where it's like... It's like the, the virgin, right? No, I... I walk fast with long... No, small steps. When talking to people, you stand with your arms folded. Have your hands clasped. Have one or both of your hands at your hips. Not sure push the person to whom you're talking to. Play with your ear or hair. Well, that's just great. I just did a K-pop dance. Arms folded. Hands clasped. On your hips. Push away. Ear, hair. Okay. Which one? I, I usually say, I, I usually kind of like this. Like. No, I don't do that. I definitely touch my hair all the time. Okay, when relaxing, you sit with your knees bent, with your legs neatly side by side. Your legs- I usually sit with like with one- I, I usually sit with like my legs crossed. Like this. That. But not like crossed crossed, like- I, Like- Like the shoe is this way. You know what I mean? Not like at the knee. I'm talking about like shoe kind of crossed over. Okay, uh, when somebody really amuses you, you react with a laugh, but not a, I usually laugh a little bit. Not, I don't react that strongly. When you go to a party or a social gathering, you make a loud entrance so that everyone notices you. I don't want to do that. Make a quiet entrance looking around for someone you know. Yeah. I usually kind of be like, where the fuck is Mike? It's not Mike. And you have like a 30 rack and you're like, fuck these motherfuckers are gonna drink all my beers. I know it. Mike. All right, you're working very hard, concentrating hard, and you're interrupted. You. Ah, welcome to break. It's all right. Which of the following colors do you like the most? Green. Green and aqua. I like aqua. Queen. <laughs> When you are in a bad, when you're in a bed at night, in those last few moments before you go to sleep, you are stretched out on your back, stretched out face down, on your side curled. Yeah, like I'm on my side curled up, and I'm gone. I'm out. I'm out. No, I feel like I would get suffocated. You often dream that you are fighting or struggling, searching for something, flying or floating. Usually, it's, uh, usually it is like fighting, or like searching. It's usually searching. Okay, Dr. Phil, quiz me. 
Results of your How Do Others Perceive You quiz from Dr. Phil. You scored a total of 45. Uh, the lively center of attention. Others see you as fresh, lively, charming, amusing, practical, and always interesting. Someone who's constantly in the center of attention, but sufficiently well balanced not to be let it go into uh, uh, like all things should be. Uh, they also see you as a kind, considerate, understanding, someone who'll always cheer them up and help them out. Hmm. Oh, wow, I didn't want to get zero to 20. Didn't want to get 60 and up. Yeah, if th between 30 and 60 is where you want to be in Dr. Phil's uh, quiz. I, th I, I think that's pretty accurate. What's next? Put this on here for fun. I just, I, I wanted to put this on here for fun. Are you the imposter or just kind of sus? I, okay. I hate the internet. I fucking hate this place. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, are you the imposter or are you just kind of sus? All right, um... <laughs> sus. <laughs> Why now? You've, I have to do this. I'm sorry. I have to do this. I have to be this way. I, ha I have to be this way. I have to be this way. By now, you've probably heard of Among Us, a party game where you play a little astronaut crew member being hunted by an imposter. Or you play as the imposter. It's an incredibly fun and addictive way to lose friends. Anyway, here's a quiz to find out if you're the imposter or not, because you've been acting a little sus. Oh, you can see me doing that. I hate that. I hate when I do like a voice and you can see my face. Fuck off. What? All right, fine. I'll do it quick. Satisfying, oh, I don't know, the, uh, empty the garbage can. Where were you? Oh, I was at admin. <laughs> oh, who do you think is sus? I think it's, I think it's, I think it's red. Oh, you're not the imposter, it was red. I just played Among Us and won. Okay, moving on. What, make a milkshake and we'll tell you which Among Us character you are. Okay, we're gonna do it quick, we're gonna do it quick. Uh, we'll start with, uh, we'll start, I thought this was gonna be way, way funnier for people. Banana and, um, uh, banana and fudge brownie. And we're gonna use coconut milk. And we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put cookies on it. And, uh, we're gonna have a fun straw. I'm purple. Cool. That was fun. Okay. I don't want to take the fishing quiz. I don't care. Okay, pick some, everyone's favorite. Okay, uh, this is Looney Tunes characters. Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, Lo wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Looney Tunes character, Looney Tunes not among us anymore. This is gonna tell me what Looney Tunes persona I am. This is, oh, this, yeah, this is the title of the stream we finally got here. Pick something for breakfast. <laughs> Cheers to that. Don't drink it fast, that's stupid. Scrambled eggs are breakfast sandwiches. Waffles are too messy and they're too heavy. Donuts are, are, are not good for you. Pancakes are too, it's, you can't you eat one and then you throw, you, well, you throw it away, it's, it's not good. French toast sticks. Mm. Every time, look, those of you that want to talk shit about my pancake preference, how many times have you ever gone to get breakfast, talking to you, and you eat one pancake and you go, oh, that's enough, I'm done. Oh, there are, hold on, I can like fan through the rest of them. There's like four others here. Never. But then you got like the bacon and you have whatever else the sides where you get toast and shit. Pancakes is too much. I'll take one pancake, please. One pancake this big. And I want it as a side. I don't want it as a main course. I want it as a side. Not the main thing. It's a breakfast sandwich. I'll pick something for lunch. Am I so, am I this boring? It's just sandwiches every day. Sandwiches all day. Probably tacos. I love tacos. Tacos. 
Pick something for the food. Pick something for dinner. Okay. Uh, pulled pork sandwich. Holy shit, that sounds pretty good right now. Pick a color, green. Pick an animal. Pick a random word. Crazy. Pick a TV show. <laughs> I like SpongeBob. Phineas and Ferb, no. Scooby Doo, eh. Rugrats, yes. Future Rom. These are actually. Okay, if you take out Phineas and Ferb, this is a hard one. Like, I could just. I could take Phineas and Ferb and just literally just go like that, and I don't care. Uh, Bob's Burgers, I, I think Bob, Bob's Burgers would be next in line for me just to be like, no. And then probably Scooby-Doo. So I've narrowed this down to Spongebob, Futurama, and Rugrats. Rugrats, I grew up on this show, so of course, I'm gonna love it. Futurama is the best Matt Groening show. It's not the fucking Simpsons, and it's not that new one, whatever the fuck that one is. Enchantment or whatever, not that one. It's this one. Uh, so it's probably gonna come down to, because this is just nostalgia, rose-colored nostalgia, uh, eyeballs. SpongeBob and Futurama! It's SpongeBob. No, it's not. Uh, it's Spongebob. It's Spongebob. Pick a cookie! This is gonna- another- this is another process of elimination. Dark chocolate. It's gross. Uh, don't like it. Chocolate chip, maybe. Peanut butter. Unbelievable. Peanut butter chocolate chip, though. No, just chocolate chip. But they gotta be soft. No crunchy cookies or I'll throw up. Like a movie genre. I don't like dark chocolate. It's too It's too heavy. It's too much. It, it tastes almost like bitter and sour. It's. I, I don't like the flavor. I, I, I would. You know, I like dark chocolate shavings on top of whipped cream that's on like a sundae. I know it's supposed to be. I know, but look, I, look. And some people like to drink like triple bold black coffee. And okay, you. that's cool. I just want something, I just want it a little lighter. I don't, like, I like a blonde roast. Sometimes. Okay, movie genre. Comedy. Take a picture of a bunny. Definitely the funny wide-angle lens one. Take a day of the week. Okay, most people would say a weekend. But I'm gonna have to give you, I'm gonna flip this on you here. I'm gonna say Thursday. The reason why Thursday is the best day of the week is because Friday, yes, Friday's great, it's the end of the week, and there's like the weekend. But Thursday lets you anticipate the Friday, because you know on Friday you're gonna feel great, so Thursday's like, all right, here we go, Friday's tomorrow. And it prepares your brain, like Thursday's best day of the week, here comes Friday, I'm looking forward to it. He's a jobless streamer. <laughs> I'm a waiter, what are you talking about? I actually said this yesterday, that I, I would- I was Daffy Duck. Um, Daffy Duck and Donald Duck, what's the difference? They both get angry and scream. Who's smarter? Okay, I think I want to, I'd rather be Donald Duck because Daffy Duck uses firearms. Doesn't he? I want to be Donald Duck. Daffy Duck's like a crazy. And the 
there, isn't there episodes where Daffy Duck like shoots Bugs Bunny? Ronald never does that. He just kind of freaks out and spins around in a circle and people ignore him. I'm 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 a Donald. I'm a Donald Duck. Donald kills someone in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, if you can get a 7 out of 8 on this horse facts test, you are a horse girl. <laughs> no. He did it. He did what? It's time for more horse themed quizzes. Horse girl, German Omega Low. Why? Donald. <laughs> Please play Hive Mind. I'm here for the, I'm here for a while, man. I, I I'm not leaving anytime soon. All right. So what? This is just how much how much I know about horses. What is the average lifespan of a horse? I don't have any goddamn idea at all. I have no idea. You could have told me that fish live longer than horses, like a goldfish, and I'd be like, I guess that makes sense. They're huge. It's probably this: fourteen to nineteen. I would say fourteen to nineteen years. Wrong. Twenty-five to thirty. Okay. Which of these uh, gates is the fastest? A gallop. Which of these photos depicts dressage? It was all just the same picture from different angles. Oh, this is, this is Conker's Bad Fur Day! I know this one. Okay. Uh, what is dressage? Is this, I think, I don't know, this one. Uh, okay, whatever. Which of these is not a term for a young horse? Philly. What kind of saddle is pictured here? An English saddle or a Western saddle? The Western saddle. What color is this horse? Is this a trick question? It's white. Now oh, fuck that. Gandalf rode around with that thing. It's white. That's, how is that gray? Gray? That's spray paint white. Which of these horses is wearing a halter? Both of them? What do you call this hair on the horse's forehead? Uh, withers. You got one out of eight right. You are not a horse girl. I mean, someone's got to keep horse girls in check. You hold the line. Why is that my? Why do I have to do that? You scored better than 3% of quiz takers. Wait, what? I'm in the bottom 3%? That's kind of, that kind of sucks. What even, what's even left? Okay, this is, you have 10 questions to prove you're not stupid. This is so, okay. This is so dumb. All right, how many bones are there in the human body? Two and two or six. Yes. 
9 plus 8 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. Uh, during childbirth, the baby travels from the uterus through the what before it exits the body? It f through the... <laughs> it doesn't go through your urethra. <laughs> oh, is the symbol for which element on the periodic table? GOLD, MOTHERFUCKER! Oxygen. During which month gains... Which month gains a day during a leap year, February? In which war did the U.S. win its independence? That would be the Revolutionary War. How many planets are in the solar system? It's, uh, is this pre-Pluto being disrespected or post-Pluto being disrespected? Post. Uh, which of these words is spelled correctly? Which of them is spelled correctly? Vacuum. Which of the following is not a continent? Like Santa? And finally, approximately how long has it been since the dinosaurs went extinct? 6.500 million years. It's alright, that's 7 out of 10. the Glungus test. Find out what Glungus you are, your spirit Glungus. So bald. <laughs> What's your happy place? Uh, streaming on Twitch. This is, this somebody linked me this one. This is a Discord meme. Uh, what's your happy place? Oh, uh, spending time fishing in a, in grilling, baby. Up, uh, up. Uh, Probably war- any uh, warm and cozy. What game console speaks to you the most? This is Discord cringe. It's also the last one, I think. Uh, what game console speaks to you the most? The 3DO. That's not a real console. Whatever's on hand, Dreamcast. Console, PC, I'll take them all. Gamer PC with a grimy little keyboard. Consoles can't talk, idiot. I'm gonna pick the Dreamcast. It's the only one on here that's an uh, actual thing. What's a cool name that you may or may not have? Theodore... Zinsky, Termi, Sylvester, Destiny, any name. What's a name that you may not have? I don't know. My name's not Sylvester. What's your preferred Twitch emote? I, I kind of really started to really, really be into Monka S. Have you ever been outside of your home country? No. Where do you see yourself in five years? Dead. Of. Uh, I don't know, maybe still doing this, maybe. It depends. Uh, if I'm still having fun, maybe, yeah, sure. Twitch. Depends. Uh, have you ever seen a grown man naked? Okay, well, haha, whatever you say. You are about to find out what a glungus you are. Are you excited? I, what is a glungus? The OG. You are the original glungus. Your rock solid, down to earth personality will get you far. Somebody educate me on what this is. What's a glungus? What is it? It's fucking stupid. It's Discord cringe. Okay, but what? But what is it? A glungus is a gl hold on. Somebody had it. A glungus is a glove filled with water. A what? Type of glandular from the glandular region. <laughs> so it's that's just what it is. But what made that? What happened? Why did that become something that people share? Okay, I'm gonna say. Okay, what is a glungus? Glungus. Okay, it's a latex glove filled with water. That's one nice glungus you have there. Yeah, man, it's my five one of the night. I'm hoping to pop this one is massive. Will you pop it? Is it, is it okay, hold on. I gotta ask. Is this a sex thing? This is not like a sex thing, right? The, am I to, are we all laughing because I'm saying like the sex thing? Like, oh, it's a glungus. You're like, yeah, I don't know. You're like 
spray it on you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, that's it.